Good morning and welcome to the Oyster Oval for this, the second round of the Irish National Cup between hosts Cork T. Kerry Cricket Club and Bally Spallon CC. We were here at the picturesque ground of the Oyster Oval Spa, a few kilometres outside of Tralee. In the distance are the imposing Schlievmish mountain range and sandwiched between them, between the ground, is the wide expanse of Tralee Bay that you can see on your screen. As you can see, the tide is in at the moment, but that will be going out uh, quite shortly. So hopefully there'll be no sixes hit into the ocean, into the sea, as there'll be a bob down into Tralee Bay or out into the Atlantic. My name is Joseph O'Mahony, and I'll be your commentator for the day. And we will have other guests popping in and out from both Kerry and from both Bally Spallon. So uh, the toss was done earlier on, and we're going to start 15 minutes earlier than... Uh, half 12, I think it's a quarter past 12 and County Kerry won the toss and elected to bat so um, both sides got through to the this round, Kerry uh, beat Muckamore with a narrow win by three wickets and Bally Spallon had a four run win over the NCU team Temple Patrick Bally Spallon from the Northwest Cricket Union up in Derry uh, had a long old drive of about 500 kilometres down to Kerry over the last two days. I think they stayed somewhere uh, five, ten miles outside of uh, Tralee last night. So Kerry welcomed them to the ground, first time down in Kerry, and for a lot of them, first time past Dublin. So uh, welcome down to Kerry, beautiful area, and I hope you have a great old day. And also I was chatting to some of the players earlier on and their hope that family and friends and Others from around the Northwest are tuning in today. Obviously, it's the days of the National Cup and Irish Senior Cup, so there are plenty of fixtures around, and I'll be going in and out of them uh, now and then during the day. I'll be focusing primarily on the uh, Munster ones, uh, where we have see UCC are against County Galway down at the farm, and UCC won the toss, selected the bat, and so far they're 12 for none of 2.1 overs. Elsewhere, um, as we go down, elsewhere in the Irish Senior Cup, Cork County are away up in Leinster against the Hills and in the National Cup, uh, we have Middleton are away to Rush and Limerick host Craiga and they'll be coming up, I'd say, in the last next uh, hour. So uh, during the day, I'll be come dipping in and out of the scores uh, as they come up on NV Play. So uh, welcome all. Uh, should be a good one. And um, I'll take a break for a moment. Play will start in about three, three or four minutes. Yeah, let's hope that it's a good day.
So the umpires are making their way out to the centre. And the teams will be joining them momentarily. Let me just go through the Bally Spallon lineup. We have Andy Christie, James Thompson, Stephen Kennedy, Stuart Kennedy, Damit Pereira, Luke Gilfallon, Josh Wilson, Seth Guy, Finn Craig, Ruben Logan Wilson, and they call up Chris Thompson. This is the young side that are taking the field, with the exception of Chris Thompson, who brings their average age up from 21 to about 40, I've been told. And the openers for County Kerry are Alain Morshed and Tabish Ali. Tabish will have the maroon helmet. It's pretty calm here at the moment. A little bit of breeze. Uh, Warm-ish. But no signs of rain currently, which is great. So we're all set, and it looks like James Thompson will be bowling first from the Tralee Bay end. And we're off and running. So single at the start. And a good ball there. Nice and straight by Thompson to Tabish. Short pitched ball. Looked a little bit high. But safely in the arms of the keeper. And 
short one again. Missed out by Tabish that time, looking to try and cut it. Welcome to all the viewers now who are joining us from various parts of the world, Kerry, Cork, and up in Ballyspallon. That's edged through about third or fourth slip, and they'll pick up a couple here. That's cut away hard, and it'll be the first maximum of the afternoon from Tabish. Again, a bit short by Thompson. Cut away, and a big six to start off his innings. So, nine off the first over. Kerry starting off quite well in this power play. Thanks. So, the score there, Mary from uh, Bally Spallon telling me that it's Stuart, that it's, it's number 88, Stuart Kennedy, will be opening from the spa end side of it, of the ground. Alan will be facing him. Nicely clipped off the legs there by a lamb. We'll pick up a couple here. String down a little bit down leg by Stewart. Better ball. Nice line and length there by Stewart. Driven back by a lamb for a dot. And again, fantastic length. More shed stretching to that one. Slips are starting definitely to come into into play here now with that line and length. Another dot ball. Just a slip in the gully or Ali Spallin. A bit fuller now. Picked up by Finn Craig. Oh, bit of a Yorker linked with that one. Kennedy mixing up his line and length. Trying to find that opening wicket. Good start by him. Only two off the bat so far. Driven back down the ground. where Finn Craig fields, and that's the end of the over. Only two off that one. Great start by Kennedy. A 
I mentioned the UCC County Galway match earlier on. UCC off to a flyer, 32 for none off five. County Galway would be the more, more fancied team. Will UCC play in the junior leagues in Munster? So, back to today's game. And a much better line by Thompson that time. Tabish going full stretch to block that. I think he might learn not to bowl too wide. Strays down leg. And Tabish will pick up a single this time. It's driven nicely and it's going to be third chance for a run out. And it's given. Fantastic run out there. Silly by Kerry. And the dangerous Tabish goes. They were looking for the quick single. Went straight to the fielder. And Tabish goes. So always has gone into bat. Sorry about that. We were trying to get the name of the batsman. First ball was a dot. And he picks up a couple there. A bit shorter again. That's cut away. a dot and that ends the over so 14 for 1 off 3 a great start for Bally Spallin Kerry ruling that uh, run out wasn't warranted so early on so early on in the innings Kenzie starts his second over as he finished the last. Again, out to Fin, fin Craig for a duck or for a dot. Apologies. Amy 
pretty straight today. There's an appeal there. That's given. And LBW. And Alam has to go. We said he was bowling but straight. And that was Fuller. And he's trapped Alam. LBW. Alam isn't happy. But he has to walk. So fantastic start now. It's getting, getting better for Bally Spallin. And next in is Josh Uden. Josh would have played with North Kildare last year and for County Kerry. Not sure where he's playing this year. I haven't seen any stats on him in Leinster. Bit of a full toss that time, but Odin doesn't cash in. Be pretty good if he could after the first ball. So Thompson gets away with that one. He don't think he'll mind getting the wicket of a lamb on the previous ball. Comes in now. Nice and full. And that's beaten the fielder. A lovely shot. Might go all the way. No. Goes out to the boundary, but pulled back by the fielder. And Odin picks up a couple. A lovely shot to get off the mark. Bit fuller again this time. I think that's Pereira trying to whip that one in. So one to come in this over. 16 for two. That's the first extra of the of the morning. And deemed a wide. It's clipped off the leg and well stopped there by the keeper, Luke Gilfallon. And that ends the over. So, 17 for 2 off 4. Fantastic start, as I said, for Bally Spallin. Four more overs left on the power play. Down here in Munster, there's been a lot of T20s over the last uh, three, four weeks. And some of these players would have been playing like as though they're playing T20. So to adjust to the 40 over format might be a bit difficult for them. Start of Thompson's third over. That's an edge. Oh! It did possible carry... Take Andy Christie going down to the left of him. And they'll pick up one. Sorry, they'll pick up a couple. 
So that was a, indeed a big chance there for a third wicket. Kind of died on on Christie. I think he could have got his hand to that one. Away leaves that one. Very now looking for a partnership. These two need to take their time a bit. It's driven down, hitting the stumps. Wooden was looking for a single, but no, he was told to stay where he was. Umpire Rutland settles down and third ball about There's the misfield there. Is there a single? Yes, and Odin calls through. Misfield. Away picks up a single. And Odin faces Thompson for the first time. And blacks that one. I'm well left by Odin, taking no chances. And that finishes Thompson's. Well, I think there might be a ball missing there by umpire Rutland. That finishes Thompson's third over. Good economy of five, while Kennedy has an economy of 2.5. So 20 for two off five. Tiny, small bit of a partnership starting to happen here. With Uden and Awe taking their time, being mindful of their situation, two down in the power play. Kendi continues, bowling some great, a great line in length. Very consistent with the ball. And again. How a watchful. Doesn't want to get out like a lamb earlier on at the LBW. Needs to stay there. So now breaking through the clouds here in Kerry. And again. Lally Spallon won't mind this. A lot of dots coming now. The explosive start that Kerry had in the first over is well and truly gone. And again, Awe playing on the front foot. Awe also plays for Cork Harlequins in the Leinster Championship. 
played yesterday against North County, where they lost by 70-odd runs. This time, Craig has been brought back to long on. There's an edge, and well stopped there in gully. Is there... Hits the stumps. Well stopped in gully. Want to come in this over. Oh, edge. Is there... I think the umpire thought that it was hit, bat hitting the, the ground. There was certainly a, a noise out there. So that ends the over. It's a maiden. A fantastic over there. By Kennedy. Six gone, 20 for two. Welcome to everybody who is joining us today from north, south, east and west. This is a turning out to be a glorious day in Kerry. And Ballyspallon have the upper hand here in this contest. Taking two quick wickets. Fourth over now for Thompson. His length was a bit of an issue at the start. In his first over, but he's adjusted that length now, and the Kerry batsmen are not getting away with the runs off him. Odin steps down the track, and lets that one go. Drives that. Oh, another misfield, and there'll be a single, a very quick single there. Driven out to Josh Wilson. That's whipped away into Cow Corner. No one's stopping that one. A nice four by Awe. Only two players on leg side. Gap was there. Awe took full advantage of it. Four runs. And a much better ball this time. Awe tried to advance. And it was a bit of a Yorker length. Just inches away from the stumps. And that's the end of the over. 25 for 2. Off 7. Welcome boundary there for Kerry. We've only had one so far. 1-4 one, and 1-6. One, Partnership of 11, so it's in its infancy. Kendi now about to bowl his fourth over. Last over in the power play. 
and Uden drives that one. But Pereira feels very well. No run. On the first or the few balls bowled outside off by Kennedy goes through to the keeper. More of a Yorker length there. Wooden was up to the task. Blocks that one. And he hits that one powerfully. Will it go all the way? And well stopped out there. So they only pick up a couple. Brilliant work in the field. That was Pereira again. Looks like he's a fantastic fielder. Pretty athletic. First shot in the air by Uden. And that's driven through the covers. They'll pick up a couple here. Lovely shot there by Odin. One to come. And he's bowled him. This time he misses the Yorker. Fantastic way to finish his over. And a great ball. And that's Uden and the partnership of 15 finished. So Imran Pathan comes to the crease. It's the end of the over. 29 for three off the power play. And Thompson will continue from the Trilly Bay end. That's edged away and down by Kennedy. In point. Well, fielded off his own bowling for dot ball. And 
more of a full toss there. Pereira feels. Thompson varying his line in length. A bit shorter this time. Ah, we're looking for the single, but Imran sends him back. Okay, we need to be a little bit cautious now. So three down. Still a long way to go. No need to throw their wickets away. Bit of a slower ball there. And there could be a... No, they were looking for a run out. But a quick single and a good single there taken by... Away called through by Pathan. So Pathan now. Imran faces his first ball. Only one off this over. Good length. And that's the end of the over. Fantastic start. By Bali Spallin. Carrier 30, 30 for three. Off nine. This is Kennedy's fifth over. Captain might be thinking of making changes now, or will he keep them going through? Because they are bowling very well. Creating chances. Traditionally, teams would take the openers off after five overs, but sometimes they're bowling well. Why not keep them on? Oh, oh, that's a fantastic ball. Siger didn't know what to do with that one. And I played a half a false stroke there. It was also easily have been an edge. Fantastic start to Kennedy's fifth over. Four overs, one maiden, two for nine. Good return on his spell so far. Another dot ball. Siger advances down and drills one up to long long on for a single. Kerry need to start rotating the strike. It doesn't seem to be a bit of a hustle with the batsmen currently. They're soaking up pressure with every dot ball. But at some stage, something will have to give. So the system, they need to start rotating the strike. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. Same type of ball that got Uden at the end of his last over. Fantastic. Bowling spell going on here. I think the Kerry lads will want to get rid see off Kennedy at this stage. Not looking comfortable out there.
We're gonna go for the quick single. Oh, he's out. Incredibly, Pereira. That's an incredible run out. He kind of was half asleep in the field, decided to run for it. Incredible piece of fielding. It must just have hit the top of, of the stumps. Another run out for Kerry. And the Kerry captain comes in now, Kurum Iqbal. Kennedy has caused massive damage to the Kerry team today. Carrier 31 for 4 off 10. And I think Stephen Kennedy is coming on to bowl. So as we heard there, Stephen Kennedy is coming on to bowl. From the Trilly Bay end. I see Bert coming in to the ground, the president of County Kerry Creek Club. I might get him on the air there in a while. So Kurum with the yellow cap will face his first ball. And Stephen Kennedy will bowl his first. It's like a spinner. Good length already. No looseners here from the Bally Spallon bowling unit. Just the one wide today. Driven down the ground for a dot. Cora McBall took uh, basically won the Division 1 T20 Cup finals there last weekend in here at the Oyster Oval. 69 run win or 69 runs he got against UCC was very impressive. Big hitter.
And another dot ball. Kenzie giving no width. And again, very impressive opening over by the spinner. It's a lovely day outside. You can see the the tide has started to turn and it's starting to go out. And another dot. That's the end of the over. Good start, Maiden. What must be going through the captain's head at this stage for County Kerry? His openers have failed. 31 for 4 off 11. Kerry normally get off to a very good start. This time they'll have to knuckle down. Kerry are second in the MCU Premier Division behind Cork County. But in cups and hat situations, that counts for nothing. Ice Ballon Skipper has it's going to keep Stuart on. Probably good thinking there. He's bowling extraordinarily well today with an economy of 1.94 off his five overs. With two wickets. That's well driven by Awe and will take a single, but is there a run out chance? Oh, Kerry. They're not setting off very quick trying to get these quick singles. More of a dawdling single, that one. Bally Spallon still have a slip in place. Not surprised by that. Not many edges today. Hit down the ground and wicket keeper takes off, picks up, throws it in. And Coram is off the mark with a pair. A couple of runs. Good chase by Gilfallon there. Valley Spallon could could do with a 45. Curum does play down leg a lot. Knows where the gaps are. It drives that one. Beautiful shot. Won't go all the way. There's a bit of a hill up there. We will pick up a pair. That was a fantastic shot there by Curum. Finn Craig is now brought right back onto the boundary. Long on. Close to a wide there, but a well left there by Coram. Better over this for Kerry. It's five off it. Runs have been drying up. Oh, and there's an appeal for LBW, but I would say it was going down leg. And it looks like a leg by, yeah. Umpire signals a leg by. It's the end of the over. 
Kenji, six overs, one maiden, two for 15. Skipper will be delighted. And I would imagine that will be his last for a while. Probably it's his brother now who's back on, Stephen. He must have had some fun in the back garden growing up. Plenty of banter. Oh, good ball there. Certainly now they, they should realise that. Don't give any room for Kurum because he will punish you. That's knocked out to Thompson there in the backward square position for a single. bit of bounce there. I was surprised by that one. An easy single there for Awe. Just drives it down the ground. Long on, coming up. Christy Fields, sorry, Thompson Fields there, straight back to the keeper for a dot, and that's the end of over 13. Kerry with a run rate of three at the moment, should be looking for about 180 to 200. Um, they're 39 for four off 13. So, we heard there, it's uh, Josh Wilson who's coming into the attack. Stuart is off. And Josh is on. So, this game is brought to you by the Munster Cricket Union. If you want to play cricket in Munster, log on to munstercricket.ie. All details of the different clubs around Munster. There are the tables, whatever happening in Munster as well. So log in to munstercricket.ie. Delighted to see you. So uh, just go through that. There's that UCC game go currently going on. UCC were doing well at the start, 37 for none. They're now 70 for five. Galway coming right back into that match. That's after 15 overs. Meanwhile, in Rush, Rush are 18 for one off six against Middleton. I think that's the only other one that I have that's live currently. Best ball by Josh. It's a nice one. How it guides that down between the gully and about third slip. 
Harry into the gully. Nicely played there by Curum. Just a bit of a tap and run there. These are the runs now that Kerry need to start start doing. Ones and twos. Try and build that partnership. Partnership of ten currently. Again, then again, that could be commentator's curse. Wide there. And Kerry will take an extra one. It's the second or third wide of the of the afternoon. Oh, that's looking an appeal, but it looked a bit high. Could have been going down leg as well. Certainly the the length is troubling Coram a bit here. That's well done. Well flicked off the legs. But there is cover down there. And only a single for Coram. That's a fantastic ball there. By Wilson. Looks to be a fine bowler. Young player. Valley Spann have brought a young team down here today. Bar the one or two old fogies. It's well dug in by the bowler. And again... Awe plays the same shot as Coram. Single off legs. That's the end of the over. So after 14 overs, it's 45 for four. Kerry with all the work to do. Bally Spallon either just doing his line and length, getting wickets here, there, doing all the right things. Fielding has been impeccable. Kennedy continues. Just misses that one there. It wasn't a chance, but could have stopped the single. And we drive that down straight down the ground. And picks up one. Curum plays one of his aerial shots just over the head of Stuart Kennedy. Don't think he was able to reach it just for a single. Awe goes the same way, but a different result with a boundary ball. A lovely shot. Four runs picked up there. It's the third of the afternoon. Just to let anybody know, there's a big wall down to the side there with another field full of reeds and rushes that goes in there. 
Say goodnight to the ball. Didn't go this time, just bounced off the ball. How he slices that one and off the back foot. He advances but thinks about it and blocks it instead. Kendi bowled a quicker one there. Lights that one up, Pereira picks it up, feels, that's the end of the over. Better over there by Kerry, pick up a boundary. Awe is on 20 now, off 35 balls, and Coram's on 8, so partnership of 20. This is better by Kerry. They're just knocking the ball around, taking the odd boundary here. Wilson comes back now from the spa end. As you can see, the Tralee Bay is emptying itself of all the water and the mud flats are beginning to show. Much full of ball this time. Well fielded. Wilson bowling a nice line in length. Not letting Coram swing away hard. It'll be a big test today for Coram, his patience. He needs to be there towards the end. Tries to pull that one. I think he couldn't get him off his chest. Shall it be a leg by? Umpire says no. So it must have come off a bat. Or the top of the bat. Kept a little bit low, that one. I think they should may, may have gone for two. They were well capable of getting two runs there. They settle on a single. It's Coring for him, fancying his chance against Wilson. That's hit on the pad, an appeal, but the umpire turns Wilson down. Probably pitched outside. Dot ball. It's only two runs off this over so far. Uh, lovely ball there nice Yorker length dug out by Coram for Dot at the end of the over very good over for Wilson and for Bally Spallon It's 
It's only four overs now till drinks. The Kerry guys will be wanting to stay there. Two drinks, not lose another wicket. And it's a slow start for them. But that's what the pressure of losing wickets does to an innings. Stephen Kennedy will continue. That's a lovely flight of delivery. How he just picks it up and drives it down to... For a single. Coram looking to go big there. Doesn't get enough of it. Picks up a single. Another dot there. Kerry start, the runs are starting to flow a little bit now for Kerry. Pick up their ones. Four off this over. They need to keep wickets in hand for the last ten. Oh, that's well, well fielded by Prera. That's the end of the over. 57 for 4 off 17. Run rate creeping up now to 3.3. These two settling down nicely now. 26 partnership. I feel that Bally Spalner is still on top here. If they could break this wicket, then maybe 140, 150 might be on the cards there for, for Kerry. These two stick together for the next 10, 15 overs. Certainly 180 to 200 could be stored, scored. It's well hit by... There will be another boundary there. More of a hack, actually. Not a great shot. Still, it's runs that they require. That's what Coram can do. He's not hitting it as cleanly as he would like. But he'll take those four runs there. Oh, a big appeal there. The umpire shakes his head. No. Coring looking to play that into leg side. Just kind of dabs that down. Bounces over the slip. And picks up a single there. An unusual way to get a single. The mat kind of intervened. Bounced off the mat. About, went over about three feet over the, the slip. Lovely length there by by Wilson. He's got a lovely flow in his run-up. The 
Fuller ball. It's driven out to Thompson, I think it is. And what a throw in. Fantastic throw in. Kerry pick up a couple. Sorry, it wasn't Thompson that threw it in. Oh, that's it on the leg. He's looking, looked as though it was going down leg. Mind you, Awe didn't play any shot at all there, but that ends the over. Eight off that. Kerry move now to 64 for four. Off 18. Two overs now till drinks. Kerry's run rate picking up a little bit to 3.5. He will stay on for his fifth over. Four overs, one maiden, none for 12. Single might have been, should have been taken there, but... Curran decides against it. Better flight there by Kennedy. Outside off, trying to tent that batsman. Driven just down the ground. To long on. For... James Thompson picks it up and throws it back to the to Kennedy for a single. That's edge there. Edge by Awe. Awe moves on to 26 now. 35 for the partnership. Nice little partnership building here. And again, and he goes kind of a, a great shot into Cow. Sorry. Beautiful four there by Coram. Kind of slightly leaned back. One foot. Bang. Thank you very much. Four runs. Is he bold? No. Just missed. What a delivery there. That's the end of the over. Six off it. Could easily have been a wicket there. So close by Kennedy. 74, 70 for four off 19. One to the drinks. So Wilson continues. Nice length. And again, he's looking for that LBW. He's troubling both batsmen. He's appealed a couple of times. In each of his overs. But has yet to find that LBW. 
Has to settle with a dot ball instead, which is quite good for Bally Spallon. No run off that one. Away defends that. Another dot. He'll get a leg by for that one. Only three now to drinks. <coughs> a wicket here for Bally, Bally Spallon will... Gorham goes down and won that one knee again. It's stopped with the foot. A bit of soccer going on here by Finn Craig. It's the season to be signing players. Surely this young lad should be signed up. What a great bit of fielding. Off the foot, into the hands. Straight back to the bowler. And that's pulled by our way for a maximum. Huge six. He picked that up well. And again, out to deep extra cover. And the players are going off looking for the ball. Reminiscent of that Netherlands and England match the other day, which I couldn't believe when I saw the Dutch players in the bushes looking for the ball. Probably ball number five. I wonder how many balls were lost that day at £140 a ball. Pretty expensive uh, day out. Away moves to 32. The partnership is now on 47. One ball to drinks. And he defends. Wilson slips. I think that's it. Yeah. And drinks are called. So... We'll quickly go through uh, the scorecard here at the halfway stage of the Kerry innings. Morshed was El Plum, LBW, bowled by Stuart Kennedy for three. Tabish Ali was ru ru run out uh, by Pereira and Luke Gilfallon for nine. Awe Siger is 32 not out. Josh Uden was bowled by Stuart Kennedy for seven. Imran Pathan was run out by Pereira again. Can't keep that lad out of the game for a duck. Kuram Iqbal is not out on 22. There are five extras, three wides and two leg buys. And the score is 78 for four, off 20. James Thompson, five overs. None for 21. Stuart Kennedy, six overs, two for 15. Stephen Kennedy, five overs, none for 18. And Josh Wilson, four overs, none for 22. So we'll be back in about five, ten minutes after drinks. And you can join us then. So thank you.
So while the players come back, let's quickly go through a few scores there on Envy Play. Uh, National Cup, UCC, 86 for 5 off 23, playing County Galway. St. Johnson are against North County. Or Johnson, St. Johnson are one for none, off 1.5. Many just starting their five. Oh, one for one has just changed off two. Derryahi are five for two, off two against Glendermott. Railway Union are five for none, off 1.2 overs. Bonds Glen, are they against Traban. Bonds Glen are five for none, off 2.2 against Terranur. And Rush are 58 for three against. Middleton off 12.4 overs. Interesting match, that one. In the Irish Senior Cup. Let me get that one up there now. Uh, Balbriggan just started. Just one ball bowled, no run. CIYMS are 108 for two off 15. Huge total there against new buildings. YMCA are 52 for four off 14.5 against Pembroke. That was one of the matches that Cricket Ireland said to look at today. Phoenix are 73 for one off nor against North Down. And Clontarf are 62 for three off 15.6 against Merion. So I don't know any update with the other uh, teams so far. Can't see the Cork County one yet. Or any of the or the Limerick one. Anyway, if they do come online, I'll update you with with those. So we're off again, and it's a quick single to start off the next twenty. With Kennedy still remaining, still bowling. So that one was to Coram, who moves on to twenty three. I would imagine that they've been told to get on with it now. At drinks. A nice length ball there by Kennedy. For the dot. Owie's on 32. And he's hit that one in the air. That's going towards the sea. And that's gone over. That could go into the mud flats, I think. A huge six there by Awe. Nice and straight. There's a kind of a, a rocky outcrop down there. And the Bally Spallin player has gone out. I think they've spotted it. There's a finger pointed towards where the ball landed. I don't think it's gone into the mud flats. That area there is a public walk. We'll be joined shortly by the president of County Kerry Cricket Club. He's doing a few little duties around around the ground. Proper president of all these little things. Kennedy cleaned the ball. It might have gone into the mud, all right. Unusual grounds around this country. Bert comes in. Yeah, you're live there, Bert. Uh, good afternoon, Joe. How are you doing? I'm fine. Ah, well, he strikes it back down the ground. There's oh, and it's uh, misfielded. Misfield down there, and that's going for another boundary. Boundary four. Ten and two balls. So, uh, Bert, when you arrived earlier, uh, Kerry were a bit of, bit of trouble. They definitely were, but these two it seems to have uh, put their heads together. So they're thinking batsmen, these two, and if they think properly and correctly, they can pull Kerry out of a bit of a mire and uh, hopefully put up a good score. Yeah. Have you been impressed by any of the bowlers of the Bally Spallin team? Yes, I've been. The uh, young bowler bowling from... Wilson. The Wilson, yeah. who was bowling from the uh, Sparrow at end, 
very impressed with his action, his bowling. His line and length were impeccable. His strides up to the wicket uh, is, uh, you could say, a measured stride without uh, aid of measuring tape. How many you counted them, I did counted you? his strides, <laughs> his delivery from his first stride to the delivery, the seven strides. And on each over, they all he's never missed a step. Speaking and that is a good sign. That is a sign of a good bowler. Speaking of Wilson, he's coming up to bowl his fifth over now. Shall we all get? Shall we all go and count them to see if you're correct? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, you're the president of County Kerry Cricket Club. Uh, is this your first year doing it? Yeah, it's the first year doing the president. So used to be. Uh, Used to do the umpiring and everything, but you know, so now I've retired from umpiring. The uh, they pressured me into become president, and I'm enjoying it. Very good. And you were, to be fair, you were a very good umpire too. Thank you for that, Joe. You're welcome. I'll take my check of five euro later. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it on it? No, it, somebody's diddle you. I put fifteen. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> Somebody's been spying on us and took the <laughs> 50 and left the 5. So Awe gets gets a single off that ball there. Uh, they're, they're batting, they're f- a better flow to it th- this time round. It, it looks like they've, as you said, they're thinking about the game now. Ones and twos and the odd bad ball is put away for a boundary. That's a lovely shot. Uh, fo- forward stroke from Coram. Coram's in good uh, touch at the moment, isn't he? He is in good touch at the moment, but hope he doesn't get too Carried much away. of a rush of blood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he has tendency he of doing that. It does kind of forces the strokes a bit, yeah. doesn't he? He does. Yeah. Wilson comes in. Oh, oh that's, that's a rasper. Well played, well played. Beautiful ball. I saw him coming and dropped it just a little bit short and a little yeah. bit. Faster and might be uh, hurt there. Did he get in yeah. the top of the shoulder? Was it or helmet has been called for definitely this time? He called it off the uh, top of the shoulder, the between the shoulder of the bat and the glove. I think. Yeah, it's a great ball. He was to That's s- what something to think about. Yeah. As a thinking bowler. Yeah, we saw him coming, and he decided to. You want to play? This is you. Great by the young man. Yeah. Many young players these days just want to get line and length and but not think about the game itself as, you know, can I set this player up? What do I do if I see him advancing down the wicket all the time? Yeah. So they've moved the player now to the deep extra cover. I would imagine they're trying to set him up here, maybe a short another yeah. short ball coming in. A bit longer. Uh, bit it's a fuller length. ball, yeah. Mm. What do you think a good score for Kerry would be, uh, Bert? At this stage, 20, they're 91 for four off. I know of, of 20. 20, 20 uh, I would say possibly if they get to 175, it yeah. should be a good score. Okay. Oh, tries to scoop that one. Oh, I think there there was something <coughs> definitely on it. Let's run down all the way for a boundary. Yep. Oh, it's gone for a leg by. Okay. It looked as though that he. Yeah, uh, I thought he had a little. I, yeah, I thought I heard that. something. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah, so did I. Must have been the pad. Yeah. Probably the top of the pad, yeah. even. So four leg buys there. Kerry now moved to 95 for four off 21.5. Partnership now of 64. Big partnership for Kerry. The run rate has now gone to 4.35. And that's big hit, but there, is there someone out there? There is. The sky is going to be taken. Yes, yeah. it is. The what Spire. a catch. See? What a catch. Lovely, that's Coram back on. Fantastic catch. He skied one. Coram isn't happy. He m- no. He's, uh, he's not happy. No. But then it's his And he shouldn't fall. be. He shouldn't be happy. Yep. It's his downfall. He went for the big one, which wasn't there. Yeah. Oh, 
So Wilson picks up his wicket. Yeah, that's his first of the day. Who's coming in? Uh, Yakub. Yakub Ali is coming into bat here now. Yakub is potentially one of the best players at Kerry Hall. I think he had a good trial for Ireland Day at one stage. Yeah, he, his career. he used to play for Leinster. And the I Munster mean, Reds. Yeah, and the Munster Reds. Yeah. And I think he did have a trial for uh, Ireland. Yeah. For Ireland. Clever batsman, uh, better bowler, yeah. I would suggest. Kerry sporting their new kind of tops today. So Wilson, sorry, Kennedy continues. Partnership of 64, was that the commentator's curse, Bert? I think it was the commentator's curse. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's always the commentator's curse when you say a batsman is uh, playing well or, you know, good, you know next ball. <laughs> So Jakub looking mm-hmm. to get off strike. Takes one step down but blocks the first ball. It's kind of the back foot. They're looking. There could be a run out here. No. No, it's not a direct hit. I think Jakub now is saying, let's get on with it. Yeah. I must say, these Ballas Balan fellows, they're well on... T- the fielding has been brilliant, hasn't it? You know, they're always looking, looking, looking yeah. for the ball to come to them, even if it's not to them. They're always there. Well organized outfit, all right. Yeah, it's blocked there by Yakub. It's a bit of an overcast afternoon, but yeah. hopefully There's the a bit sun. Bit of heat there, isn't there? Will be coming out. Yeah. Luckily, we don't have the heat that, that they're experiencing uh, in Europe. Uh, I, I don't think I could play in a <laughs> 36 degree heat. <laughs> I think we'd all be melted at this stage. We could do it about another 30% of yeah. the heat. Absolutely, yeah. and that's whipped yeah. around the corner yeah. there. Should pick up, should be a single. And Jakub's coming back looking for two, uh, yep. and we'll comfortably get it. I think Bally Spallon could do with a 45 more than just a... Yeah. That ball again. It's the end of the over. Very good over there for Kennedy. Only two off it. Kerry moved to 97 for five off 23. Elsewhere, UCC moved on to 109 for 6 off 27 against Galway, which is not bad. I thought it would be a lot less. St. Johnston. Yeah, going down there to Middleton. They've rushed for 83 for 4 off 16.2. Very small ground there in Rush. Have you ever been up there? No, no. 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 And we'll Daria here in a bit of trouble there. 24 for 3 off 5.3 West. Yeah. Wilson is on again, rolling yeah. to our waist. Oh, ball of a full length, mm. just outside off stump. Lucky not to get an edge to that one. Our way, or will I say it? Our way is six shy of his 50. <laughs> As Bart yeah. closes his eyes and goes, Oh, don't say it. Oh, he swings at that one. Shouldn't be doing that at this stage. Good bowling again from Wilson. It's 
trying to cut that. Thompson is warming his hands, looking for that for that cut shot. That goes down leg. Yep. Actually, probably went over the stumps, did it? Yeah, just over the top of the stumps. Yeah, uh, umpire doesn't give a wide. Mm. Yeah. Good bowling again. It's good bowling, but also there is a, I think, reason why the umpire didn't give a wide because that way he said stepped inside. He yeah, he did. So. That's a lovely bounce. Beautiful ball. Yeah. But in fairness, I was the measure of it and picks up a single. <laughs> that Coob now will face uh, Wilson for the first time. Two balls remaining in this over. 98 for 5 Oh, oh beautiful yeah. ball yeah. Didn't uh, come up as much as I thought it would be roughly around knee height One off to leg. Yeah. And Yakub Ali is happy with the single. That's the end of the over. Uh, another very good over by Wilson. Only two off that. Kerry moved to 99. 99 for five off 24. 16 overs remaining, Bert. Say four, five and over. That's about 80. So about 170, 180. Yeah, you're looking at at the moment. Yeah, about that, 170, yeah. 180. Yeah. I think they'll be, they won't be happy on this, it's over 200. Psychologically as well. Yeah. 200 is a benchmark. Yeah. You feel comfortable with that. Anything on the 200 is about, yeah. gives you something to think about. jokes going on there now between Christy and the umpires I don't know what they're all on about and he moves back into slip I think they're pushing Thompson around Oh, that's an edge there. Edge, yeah, should they be may two. pick up two. two. No, no, no. Yes. Yakub is happy with the one. It's not carrying as much as I thought it would. Maybe Kennedy's taking a bit of pace off here. But that's a quicker ball. And that's hit. That's huge. That's another one. That's into the mud. That's into the Definitely. mud again. That's a six by Awe and a fantastic way to bring up Real his 50. 50. Beautiful. A well-crafted 50 runs. Three fours and three sixes of 60 balls with a strike rate of 85. I think he'll be happy with that, Bert. I'm happy with the uh, <laughs> way o Oasis is playing. 50 of these uh, predecessors didn't play. Uh, in the manner that they uh, they can play. Yeah. And you're right, they, each one of those that have gone before him have played, uh, can play very, very well. Yeah. We've all seen it. So the ball has been retrieved. Umpire Rutland will check the ball, see if there's no mollusks or scallops. 
on the ball. <laughs> or crabs. Or cra- <laughs> hey, come here. <laughs> and he goes down the track and he hits that one for another. That'll be another boundary. Yeah, it's another boundary. Nice mm. shot. I don't actually. I don't think he caught that quite well, Bert. No, no, he didn't. Nevertheless, it's another boundary. Moves carry on to one hundred and ten. They talk about crab. It's funny. I was fishing yesterday on the Phoenix Pier. Oh, thanks be to God! I thought it was go- this was uh, going somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> the only. <coughs> About catching crabs, we I caught maybe about half a dozen spider crabs. Right. Okay. Not what I wanted to catch. Right. Richie was fishing. And that's also. gone again for another six, but yet this may hold up in the... Uh, it's that's gone. Another, that's another big... That's eight. another big sh- six there by Awe. He moves to 61. I think now the captain of Bally Spallon will yeah. be thinking of a, a change. Changing bowling yeah. rollers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so to finish the story, I caught the spider crabs and Richie was uh, lucky enough he caught a couple of uh, ondulate rays, about six pounds in weight. Well, are um, they yeah. rays, is it? Yeah, rays, yeah. Oh, mm. Where did you, ca- where'd you, where'd you catch them? Off the pier at Phoenix. Phoenix, that's only down the road. Yep. Dot ball. The players from Kerry are getting excited now, seeing some big hits. He goes again, strikes that Sorry. lovely, but it'll only be a single. Down single. Yeah. I think that is Wilson down the end, down at end fielding. Yes. So. That's a single to bring up the end of the over. Uh, 16 off that one, or 18 off that one. 117 for 5 off 25. Score is looking a bit better now. So Absolutely. So Big talk out in the middle. Who are they going to bring on? I don't think they're going to keep Wilson. Or will they? He's really been he has been troubling the the Kerry batsman. Would you keep him on, Bert, or would you change? Uh I think it's Pereira who's coming on now. Is uh how many overs has he bowled so far? Uh six. Six, I think, uh, would save him. He's got a, another two to bowl. Yeah, I'd, so I'd nearly bring, I would have kept him go, go through. Actually, Kennedy had bowled his, that was his last over, Kennedy's last yeah. over. So. Thank you. So, Mary, this, who's doing the score... At the clubhouse, has told us that Pereira, Pereira is coming on. Mm-hmm. Number 41. I think he's changing his boots. I think he was wearing spikes. Obviously on an artificial, he can't really wear spikes. Yeah, Otherwise, it'll tear it up. <coughs> it's always nice to see lady scorers. Yes, we don't have Min Munster. You know, so... Uh, I think the ladies should get more interested in cricket uh, down here. I, well, uh, it's it's very common in most over provinces, but not down down in Munster. Something we have to it's something we have to address. Yeah, but you yeah. have to be fair. Yeah, we yeah we have uh, Blanche. Uh, she's retired from scoring now. She does yeah. it now and again. Well, she was uh, one of the only ones in Munster. But I think with the advent of uh, we're getting here in Kerry, we are getting a. Uh, a ladies team together, so yeah. of course you'll get a few more ladies I involved believe, in, I in cricket. Co- I think I'll be coming down to their first game. I think there's a, a tri-series yeah. game against a couple of teams from Leinster and the yeah. Kerry ladies, yeah. which should be fantastic for yeah. them. I'll be live streaming that in August, I think the 6th of August. Oh, just three days after my birthday. Is it? <laughs> that can I ask? Can I ask? Can I ask? Can I ask what age? Must be in your seventies, surely, are you? Well, I'm, I'm very proud of my age. Go on, you know. And uh, <laughs> in August, I'll be uh, eighty-one. Yeah, no way. Yep. Not. There's one thing bit I'm of a proud long hop of. There. Just a single for Awe. Mm-hmm. 
What are you, sorry, I interrupted you there. What are you proud of? I'm very proud of my age. Mm. Yeah. Why? And people, because uh, I think I've, uh, you know, I live my life the way I enjoy it. Mm. I enjoy the, my life. I live my life. Yes, he comes up bowls. Oh, oh t- a little dot th- ball. He's there. trying to angle that. Yakub yeah. then decides that maybe I should have driven it. Dot ball there. Nice looking ball from Pera. Stop. Pushed. Tried to push that down on the onside. Dot ball again. He manages to get hold of this one. This not, not a very nice looking shot, but does the trick. He picks up a single. 119 for five now. Are we the dominating batsman here? Set at the stage. Really important for Kerry t- for him to be shot. there. It's well fielded, but they'll still pick, get a single. Bit of a Nistro, but yeah. they're still a bit tentative, it seems. Um, the, the, communi- the communication between the two Wait. players. Yeah. Are you going any on any holidays this year, Bert? I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Uh, if I do go, uh, it will only be... Possible to see the kids over in the UK, oh, the this. grandkids that for a wide. couple of weeks. I think that's five wides. Yep. Yeah. Umpire signals five wides. Expensive at this time. So 125 for five. One ball remaining. Danitha in his over. Danith, would you say? Denise, I think. Denise? Yeah. And that's blocked by... Jakub? Jakub, yeah. So 14 overs remaining now. I think 200 could be on the... On, on the s- we'll be looking at 200 now if Awe definitely is still there. If he's still there after about another three overs, he possibly push the uh, run rate up a bit. Yeah. Uh, Opening bowler is coming back on, James Thompson. Much thanks to Mary from Bally Spallon who's helping us out today. She's multitasking. S- the slips is still in place here. I wonder if he's really needed. That's well hit, but I think this could be out here. It's caught. Yeah, caught. Caught. And that's Stephen Kennedy who takes the catch. We were just talking about it a few minutes ago. How it tries to go yeah, big, again, big again. But it's caught. Mary confirms that it was caught by Kennedy. And Awe goes out 64 of 66 balls with four fours and four sixes. A great knock. It was really needed to be there. It's Mosin, is it? Uh, or is it always? It's always, I think. Always. Not always. 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 Sideways, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. He's playing in Dublin too, is he? Uh, yeah, he uh, plays up there. Is he Phoenix, was it? 
some stage. Seeing it was Phoenix who was playing. Some stage, yeah. yeah. Mm. Phoenix seconds or thirds or something. So, Jakub will is facing here now. Flicked off his legs, but won't they won't take a single this time. That's well fielded by Chris Thompson. The single was there. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. A good change by Always. the captain to bring Thompson back on. Needed impact. Taking the precious wicket of Awe. That's it. Oh, that's well placed that's there by two. Jakub. There has to be has a to couple double. of runs here. Ball. There's a bit oh. of a hill in Kerry. And it won't travel to the boundary. They'll pick up a pair. Runs. That wicket now will take... It's, it has stopped the momentum from Ke by Kerry. What Kerry needs to do now is just uh, push the ball around for a couple of overs. Mm. Oh. Wide ball there, but Jakub was doing a bit of fishing. It's a bit of a full toss, but he defends that, but... They still pick up a single. Have you ever good at uh, hitting balls off, you know, full tosses? Or was it's it one of the hardest balls to hit. Isn't it? <laughs> Goes I, can, I can never do it. You never know. You d you don't expect it to come at a full toss, and then by the time you read the ball to yeah. hit, you know, it, it could be skied. Yeah. Or if you're lucky, it goes over the top. Yeah. yeah. I've been bowled but so many times <laughs> with a <laughs> full tosses as well. So, left-hander. Away defends yeah. his first ball. One remaining in this over. Very good over for Bally Spallon. Yeah. They go for the quick single. Has to be quick. <laughs> oh, is there? They look for the a second. No, no they no. won't. They won't. They won't go for it. Jakub is. Jakub was on the ground on the having ground. a rest. Yep. Just the one off it. See, so there's uh, no coordination with the running because uh, Oasis was ready, but he didn't expect... Expect the overthrow. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't hear the word buzzers either. No, no. So around the grounds here for... Rare bowled his first one. UCC are 147 for 8 off 31. St. Johnson are 23 for 4 against North County. Derryahi are 76 for 3. A bit of a recovery against Glen Durham at first. Railway Union are 43 for 1 against Straban. Bonds Glen are 32 for 3 off 9.3. Against Terranur and Rush are 97 for 4. Against, for, against Middleton. I guarantee the, the pro is, is there playing. Oh, it's a lovely flight of delivery. And well played by Jakub. Just flicked off the legs for a single. No pace on that one. Always having a chat with the umpire. He can be a bit fiery too at times, can't he? Yeah. Especially when he's bowling. Yeah. Prayer of moving his field around. Just looking around the field, I can see our chairman sitting on the uh, bank, bank spar, spar road end. That's flicked again. That's 
delicately done. For a well fielded. Could have gone easily for a couple of runs. What's he doing? Uh, He's just resting on the bank a little. I think he might be a little bit happier now. I, he, I believe he, he was. Hung, I believe he was hung over this morning. But <laughs> <laughs> well flighted. Yeah. Oh, very good. But they'll still pick up a single. Yeah. Gil Gilfallon. He slips. So he was about to throw the ball mm. towards the bowler's end. As you quite rightly said, the the Kerry team are certainly certainly starting to knock it around. And do all their big hitting in the last seven to seven overs. So they have the wickets in hand. Oh, it's a wide ball. They need to dig in now. Oh, what a ball there. Ooh. Must have been close. That's well hit there by by Yakub, but only for a single. Josh Wilson fielding here on the out towards the boundary. Change in the field. Yeah. We'll bring. Oh, uh, wait, top edge is that one. But I think it'll uh, fall into no man's land. Yeah. Safe there. He replays that shot that he should have done. But he'll keep the strike. 136 for six at the end of the 28. 28 over. Since Awe's departure, things have slowed down somewhat, haven't they? Yeah. He was the set batsman. Well, in most times, it's always the set set batsman. It always uh, seemed to fall. Mm. I think he was just a little bit over-ambitious with that shot of his. But he'd been hitting the, the ball quite well. Might, might have miscued it. Yeah. So Th Thompson starts his seventh. Good bowling, good batting from both. Should get two there. Definitely should be two. Ball is picked up and thrown back to the keeper. Four boundary riders out on the boundary waiting for the big shot. Nicely paced. Good shot for one. As the umpire scampers across the wicket, across the other side to get the square leg. I should get some of his weight down. You can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say that to him when I see him. <laughs> no, he can only look back on the video later. <laughs> oh, that was very close to hitting his own stumps there. Yep. I take no responsibility for, for Bert's comments. <laughs> As he chuckles in the background. <laughs> Come here. He goes again. <laughs> it wasn't me, Declan. It wasn't me. <laughs> oh, that's well hit. Oh, that's certainly too called for it. Oh, ball was swirling in the air. Yeah. Should have been taken. Tough chance, though, for Bally Spallon. Ball had called for it, but uh, he wasn't an able. Take the catch. Chances are coming for yeah. Bally Spallon. Oh, 
Oh, there, there should be a run out here. No. Bit of a fumble there by Finn. He throws his head in the air. He knows there was another chance. It's two and two balls now. I don't know why they're hitting in the air, Bert. That's flicked off. Flicked off the pads. Will that go for a boundary? It's moving up and it's just gone over the boundary rope. And four runs. Good a hug. Jakub hugs Owe for a lovely play shot. Four runs. And Kerry go within four of getting 150. 146 for six off 29. Jakub is certainly a leader in this club, isn't he? He is, he's definitely. Yeah. You know, he's uh, one of the senior players. Yeah. Respected player. Very as a player, he's very respected, and as a person, yeah, he's very respected also. I believe he organised the new gear for yep. Kerry today. Yeah, for Kerry, he got them and in. In a very short time also. I heard that. Yeah, you know, Apparently it's six weeks I heard. What was it? Uh, yeah. Less than 10 days or yeah, something. Yeah, less than 10 days. Yeah, then. And from O'Neill's as well. Yep. Incredible. I must know someone inside there. <laughs> so Pereira continues yeah. from the spa end. And the only thing that couldn't be uh, embroidered on because of the time lapse was the uh, sponsor's name. Okay. And who is the sponsor? Uh, by Kerry Biofuels. There you go. There's your plug for the day, Kerry Biofuels. Kerry Biofuels, or in Tralee. For all your biofuels, go to Kerry Biofuels in Tralee. It's your plug. Um, so, Jakub, who's on to 13. Partnership up to 22 now. Valuable runs here by this these pair. Side is always twelve. Nice. Nine. Run rate now just under fives. Well played in the end. Jakub looking for that quick single. Awe wasn't interested in that one. Fielder was running in. Mm. So I think he's aware he's aware tight. of their yep. tactic at this stage. Yep. Great bowling here. The Bally Spallon players beforehand did say to me that Pereira was one to watch, all right. Digs that out, oh, oh, way, oh way. Great, fantastic over there from, from Pereira, just one off it. So the last 10 now coming up, 147 for six. Kerry need a big 10 here. Bay's looking quite beautiful today. Isn't it? Yeah. Tide is out. It's a bit dark out there, isn't it? It is a bit dark yeah. with the clouds so in the mountains. Yeah. So across, yeah. if you're watching on YouTube, uh, across the river there are the bays, the Sleeve Mish Mountains. And Thompson starts. There's a drive there. We think that could be out. And it's caught. Well caught there. And that's Yakub out. Thompson again, the start of his over, picks up another wicket. He's so Seth, Seth, cat, Seth catches that one. He's having a better second spell now, isn't he? So. Is that Mosin, I think, coming out? Yeah, that should be Mosin. Mosin coming out He's here coming now. Out of that now. Is it Mosin or Assad? Sorry. 
Um, to be honest, I don't know his surname. Two seconds there, let me shout at them. You were right the first time. Mosin. Yeah. He can be a confident player. You know. I don't know much about him, uh, Bert. He, uh, <coughs> he strokes the ball around. It's time to go for the, rad, the, uh, the bad balls. He can dispatch them. So he's, he's a bit of a tail ender, really, isn't he? <laughs> No, he opens the batting sometimes. Does he? Yeah, he can open the batting. Oh, why is he? And he flicks that flicks out. That off the, That's uh, a beautiful flick. One leg, four runs. Pumps the fist. Beautiful shot by Owe. 150 up. to drive that one but Pereira straight to the field mm. <laughs> bit of a wide area yeah. Empire Rutland calls it Last over for Thompson. He's, been, he's bowled quite well today. Oh, that's a, he's pulled that one. It may not go all the way, it does. It does. <coughs> the boundary. Four. Away on the charge here. <coughs> Good over for Kerry, despite losing one wicket. 156 for seven. Two balls remaining in Thompson's spell. I think uh, when they're batting, they said they'd like to come on and commentate as well. Yeah. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Looking forward mm. to that. Should be a bit of fun. Yeah. You can know more about the, t the, the club then. Absolutely. Yeah. I think the more we know about our competitors, and especially in this game, yeah, better. This well, it's good. It's it great that good. this competition is great because you obviously you would normally play against teams from from the north, north, northwest, yep, even Leinster. North. Yeah. So it's and as I say, well, well done to Cricket Ireland for uh, arranging. You That's know, been pulled. Uh, that was a bit shorter. Didn't get much hold of that one. They'll just pick up a single. Now it's so most will face his first ball of the day. And it's the last the ball, last of, ball of, of Thompson's uh, spell. He'll be looking to end on high here. Picked up a couple of wickets since he's come back on. Looking for his third here now. That's a good length Beautiful ball there. Ball. Just outside the off I think was in two, two minds there. Yeah. What to do with that one, but that ends the over. So James Thompson ends on eight overs, no maidens, two for 46. Economy of 5.75. Good work by him for the day.
ball of fields himself. Oh. That's whipped away. Two. They're going definitely, to two. Definitely the second, two here. Yeah. And they get that comfortably. Away moves to 23 now off 19. Oh. Mm. A skiddy, skiddy ball there. Well left. Well fielded, shot, good shot, but well fielded by the bowler himself. He's putting a lot of pressure on, on Owe there as he Owe looks around to see where can he score. Can he take a step down? No, he defends yeah. on the back foot. One left in this over. Very economical uh, prayer is. Last few overs. And that's and it. And that's another one. End of the over. <coughs> 159 for 7 off 32. Eight overs remaining. In the carry innings. It's a conference going on in the middle between the batsmen. To see you, uh, it almost looks like a Babe Ruth. Yeah. Point, <laughs> pointing <laughs> to where he's going to hit. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. This I think I'm thinking of hitting him over... Uh, over deep mid off. <laughs> oh no, no, you hit him over deep mid wicket. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, you hear some great stories about cricket, and uh, you know, that's the beauty of the game. You know, the uh, commentary is great, and also the stories afterwards that the players tell. One story is about uh, <coughs> the great man himself, Viv Richards. He was playing in a county game. And uh, but he was just feeling himself in, and the bowler was bowling quite decent. Mm. And uh, the bowler turned to Viv and said, well, the ball is round, it's red, and it's got stitches. Why can't you hit it? Yeah. And Viv just glared down the wicket at him, and... Uh, so the next ball, he hit him clean out the park, out the ground, into the fields next door. <laughs> and the Viv turned to him and said, now you know what it looks like, go and find it. <laughs> so, <laughs> really good. So Kennedy has come back on. It's the seventh over. Uh, first ball was a dot. Oh, run off that no ball there. Off that. Oops. <coughs> Straight to the field of that was. Mm. Cuts that one, but again, no run again. No run. Bit of pressure building on Mosin. Speaking of losing balls, <laughs> let's look at the the Netherlands won the toss today, or the N Netherlands bat are batting currently and are 129 for four off 26, mm. off 15 overs remaining. That was some hammering there uh, they took the other day, wasn't it? Yeah, it was definitely. Uh, but some some batting I haven't ever seen s the power. Those guys can hit a ball. That's a better ball there. Driven yeah. by Mosin, and he's off the mark with a single. 
But those guys, they're in a one-day mode. So go they played in the I- IPL, and so they really set in one-day mode. It's like uh, Johnny Bairstow hitting that seven seven hundred for England yeah. against New Zealand. It's kind of transformed, even the way you you play Test cricket, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, even wasn't it a few years back? Was I might be wrong? Was it? Um, Kendi runs in again. That's. That's very good shot. That's a big, big shot there. Deep extra <coughs> cover. Four runs. Good way to finish off the over. Yeah. Left hand. This one. Score moved on to one six four for seven. Seven overs remaining. Yep. I think the guys are looking for the ball, have they found it? No. Yeah, I think they're gone looking for the ball. So while the lads are looking for the ball, you can see updates there for the other games around. So second the UCC match seems to have been stopped altogether. Anyway, St. Johnson are forty for six against North County at this stage. Um Deria here hundred and twenty one for four. Against Glen Dermot. Railway Union are 60 for 3 against Raban. Uh, Bonds Glen are a 72 for 4 of 14 mm. overs against Terranur. And Rush are 135 for 4. They've settled down now. Gone up to 28. Isn't that bad? Going from Middleton. Go, that should and in the. If you can go to the. If you can get the Irish Senior Cup up. I can't at the moment. It's a bit of a freeze on the UCC match. There is, yeah. And their senior cup. There's a freeze on there for Balbriggan and Estonians. CIYMS are 175 for five. Prayer will continue here. YMCA are 114 for five against Pembroke. Phoenix are 147 for two no. against North Down. And Clontar for 108 for five against Marion. And we're back to the action here. So Mosin hits that one and a massive hit there. Four runs. I think that he's just going to hit everything now yeah, at this stage. Last Bert. nine overs. Correct. Last nine overs to go. They'll try and motor along a bit. Prayer needs to bowl outside off here now. Take it away from his arc. Takes pace off that one. Was that an edge? Hands, no. the slips hands are on his head. Might have been an edge there. Might have been. Yeah. That ball We're though. Very close. Sun breaking through the clouds here again down in Spa and Kerry. Mawson defends. Run rate creeps over five runs and over now. Certainly, Kerry will be looking for about 200, 210. 
That's a beautiful strike. Good shot. There could be two here. Oh, yeah. Two at least. Stuart Kennedy is in chase of the ball. Certainly there would have been two. three, I thought, Bert. I thought it would have been three if they were a bit faster. They didn't push it there. Nice looking shot, though. Six off this over so far. 170 for seven. A nice little dab down there. Oh, and there's, there's a, a bit of trouble here. There's, there's a, a bit of trouble. If, yeah. if the wicket keeper can... If the wicket keeper had just looked up and thrown down to the bowler's end, he was Good out, definitely out. out. Definitely out. By the skin of the, his teeth, he got back in, no way. Communication between the batsmen today hasn't been great, been, has it, Bert? Well, it hasn't been at all. It's been... Poor at best. Very, very poor. That could have been the third run out of the day. That's cut away out to Thompson. Just for a single. And that's the end and of the, the over. Of the over. Chances coming in there. I think the, there was a certainly, I think, a drop catch there. Yeah, and, and a run out. Also the missed chance of a run out. Correct. So, all within two balls. So. Yeah, but I think we had that a couple of overs well ago, yeah. didn't we? With two aerial catches. So, Kendy coming now to Stewart. Kendy coming on, I think, to bowl his final over in his spell. He's been very economical today, only 2.86. Drives that That's down. Shot down, to down, down to Mosin, down to Stephen Kennedy. He's down there and long off. Another single. As the sun tries to break through. Yeah. That cloud has been hanging over yeah. the mountains all day, hasn't it? Has been. As the swallow comes up near near our broadcasting station here. That's a sign of the warm weather coming yeah. when you see the swallows. Uh, yeah, see a pair of swallows, you know, you get good weather for oh really? a couple of days. Never knew that. Days, and I've only been seeing one swallow, not a pair. Yeah. Where I live, there is sometimes you get the pair of swallows, and for the next couple of days, you get brilliant sunshine. No way. Yeah. Never knew that. That's a big hit, but I think Stephen, I think Thompson will take that, and he takes it comfortably. Yeah. And another wicket falls. To a bowler Kennedy. in his yeah. last over. So Stephen Kennedy takes another catch. Hasn't dropped any today. Fair play. This is and OA. Departs for 28. A good knock, Bart, by him today. Kashif Khan comes out. He's a big unit. Bart, he is he? a big unit. He's very big. <laughs> He's very, <coughs> very good bowler also. Oh, yeah. He'll certainly open up the bowling yep. for Kerry. Kerry certainly have to bat out these 40 overs. It would Definitely. be criminal if they didn't. Eight over, eight wickets down. Yeah. Got six. 
five, five overs five, to go. Roughly, yeah. So Mogson's on strike here. Sure, Kendry has three wickets now. Uh, Turned around the leg, pick up a single, brings Kashif on strike. Excuse me. <laughs> Some young man is uh, walking past us by giving us strange looks. So, score a son. A player son and family is coming in. Oh, that's well oh. bowled by Kennedy, and that's over. End of it, a fantastic spell. Eight overs, one maiden, three for 23. Brilliant spell there by that's Stuart bold, Kennedy. Yeah. Breaking away from cricket for a little while later mm. on in the uh, between sometime at towards the end of June, early July, yeah. we should have our <coughs> cycle greenway open, and which is a cycleway, a walkway from Trulli out to Phoenix. And uh, that should, the plan is to open it at the end of the end of the month, so for any cyclists coming to carry down in the Trilly area, that will be a, one of the new venues for them to, uh, to sample or to try out or to use. And will it be, is this the one passing the ground here? Is it, it is, uh, but it will be within... Uh, Most in, er, yeah, within well. walks to the ground. Oh, fantastic. Yep. Uh, th these cycleways are popping up, or yeah, greenways popping up all over Ireland. They are very and, and they're using the old railway tracks, yep, which is that great. This is an old railway track. Oh, the old, was it? Yeah, oh, the wow. old railway track from Trilly to Feenit. Wow. So it's, it's been taken, but it's as, it has taken a while. Yeah. It should have been open, but with the advent of COVID, it was put back. So hopefully it will be open June, July. And Kashif gets off the mark, driving down the ground just for a single. Yeah. That's and a great initiative. Yeah, it uh, is a great initiative. I know initiative. the one down in Waterford works very well as yep. well. Yep, that's it. This one, that was the first one, wasn't it? It was one of the first ones, yeah. Yeah. And there's plans. Oh, there's an edge and it is dropped. dropped. Keeper has his hands on his helmet. And there's plan for another one in Kerry, also the North Kerry side, Greenway. Will that go around the coast road? As well, yeah, but that will be well? along the coast of Lovely. North Kerry. Wild Atlantic Way. And, and Mosin just drags that one for a single. Yeah, one of the best uh, things I think uh, tours in Ireland have ever done was that Wild Atlantic Way. Yep. It is, it is incredible. I've cycled parts of it and it's just <coughs> a stunning coastline. So if anybody from Northern Ireland or anywhere around Ireland or the world want to come to Kerry or Cork or... And that's driven. Huge drive by Kashiv Khan. Up, for, up over for a four. Welcome runs for Kerry. 180 up. That's it. Powerfully again by Kashif. He's a big, two. strong man. Definitely get the two. I think, has he pulled something? No, I think the, uh, the, pads, the pads. The pads are... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the pads are just... Uh, they're, just they're too small for him, A little they? bit too small for him. So. <laughs> 
You know, we do get these laughs, <laughs> these silly moments in cricket. <laughs> he's like, but he's built like a rugby player <laughs> than a cricketer, isn't he? Yeah, 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 he's a, yeah. you know, the pads on him, <laughs> it's like a pair of gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like a, a, a use, use pads on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And going back to the Greenway from yeah. Tralee to uh, Phoenix, there's a matter of interest. There are three watering holes on the way. Oh, very good. Yeah, which is can uh, you name them? The uh, spot, the uh, Oyster Tavern, which, which, which is which just across the way from here. Yeah. And uh, further along the Greenway, you have you come to what is called as the Tankard. The Tankard. Tankard, yeah. And at the end of the Greenway, there is the. Uh, The West End Bar. Wilson is coming back on. He has two overs remaining. So, looks like Pereira and Wilson will bowl their yep. bowl out the remaining yep. overs. So, only five bowlers used today, I think. Yeah, so. so, hold on. So, sorry. So, there was the tankard. And what's the last one? The last one is the West End Bar. The West End Bar. Lovely. Have you been to all three? So it will be. Uh, I've been to all three, and it's good. Uh, good food, good drink, good uh, camaraderie, all around. And again, you wouldn't want to be cycling either after all that food and drink, would you? <laughs> no, you'd lose. No, you'd add no, one more pounds no. and <laughs> than lose them. So Wilson comes in for his second ball. First one was driven by Mosen. Powerfully hit again by. By Kashif. Straight to, straight to a short mid-wicket, so mm -hmm. no run. That could be Ruben, I think. Uh, well defended well on the back foot there. Yeah, Wilson is uh, continuing on where he left off in his... Opening spell. He's definitely one to look out for for the future, isn't he? He's is definitely. Yeah, is All along the ground, straight. down to long off. So 185 for eight. 3.2 overs remaining. Kerry's still on target for that 200. 200, yeah. So that, my 180. This 185 gone. is gone. Oh, no, there it is. And 185 well, they could is up. Get but <laughs> you do want that to happen, though. Oh! Empire Rutland <laughs> looks down at the ground. No. Means not out. Not out. I think that, I think that was going down leg, the. Uh, the way the batsman is standing in his ground. So yeah. You do get some batsmen at the end of when they appeal against leg before they seem they to walk. Uh, walk across, <laughs> walk away <laughs> to try and distract the umpire. You see. <laughs> it's like a, a guilty walk, isn't it? Yeah. That's well hit down the ground and that'll go for a boundary. Four. Full toss. Wilson knows it. Mm. One hundred and eighty nine for eight off thirty seven, three overs remaining. remaining. That prayer will definitely continue, finish out his overs. He's been very unlucky today, hasn't he, Bart? He has been, you know. Two, couple two. of drop catches behind the wicket mm. and uh missed chance of a run out. Yeah. He's created chances to be fair to him. Oh, that's a great ball. It's a good ball. 
and they'll take I think there'll be a leg by here Pereira looks at the fielder shouldn't have been a I think he got an edge oh, he must have got an edge to that the umpire hasn't signaled anything so we'll give it definitely to got an edge to that one Oh, oh, and he's, he's bowled, bowled him. him. He deserved that he's one. He's bowled him. Yeah. Pereira deserved Went for that one. Went for the mighty heave. Oh. So, a sad. I think Raza will come in now. 37.2 overs. 190 for nine. Will Curry get the 200? Well, they can certainly do it. Kashif is there and he can... Yeah, I think Asad needs to get Kashif on strike. Yeah. When he gets his pad sorted out. Oh, my God. Straps. Yeah. Pads are a little, little bit they, loose. I need spiders around them, you know, for the bicycle. You know the bicycle strike with the spiders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elasti elastica elasticated yes. once. <laughs> oh, what happened there? Did they, they all miss it? They got. I thought. I thought. <laughs> they got a little edge to that. It's a dot ball anyway. Yeah. Another precious dot ball for Bally Spallon. And he defended that one safely. It's been a good game today. Kind of ebbed and flowed. Well Another one well played. Baller himself feels, yeah. He's ebbed and flowed after Kerry's uh, disastrous first uh, 10 overs. The, yeah. uh, the Oasis and uh, Coram seem to have that settled the yeah, pace partnership down. Of 64. Oh, there's a full oh, toss. Oh, a full there we toss. go. That's what we were on about, the <laughs> yep. full toss. Yep. And what would you have done with that one? Pulled it away? Uh, you'd have, I would have possibly tried to pull it away <laughs> and knowing my luck, I'll possibly get bowled by it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, at the end of the 38th over, with two to go, um, County Kerry are in 190 for nine. Valley Spallon have bowled very, very well today. A few loose deliveries, but on the whole, have bowled very well and their fielding has been exceptional. There's one, one bowler who, could, to me, he could never play... Full toss yeah. was uh, Gary Balance who used to play for England. The uh, spinners against the quicks, he could score, but he couldn't score against the uh, spinners because the ball coming from a spinner above his eye line, yeah. he had he couldn't pick the ball up, so it's very difficult yeah. for him to s to score. Kashif says no to that one. Is he going to go big here now? Wilson's last over. He'll be hoping to uh, to get a wicket in his last over. Yeah. He has one at the moment. Yeah. Oh, and oh swing on a miss. But as you know, Jody, uh, Bowlers who have a great spell of bowling sometimes doesn't get the wickets. It's true. You know, but they are. They, but they set them up. Yeah, they set them up, up for the other they players. They put the pressure yeah. on the batsman. Yeah, for the other bowler. And Wilson has certainly done that today. And Cash goes big. This could be out here. No, drops yeah, into no man's short, land, but yeah. Pereira launches a huge throw back into the keeper. Just one run there. I think Kerry should be. Not ca focusing on hitting boundary balls at this yeah. stage. Just ones and twos will do it for them. <coughs> Nine balls to go. Nine runs. 
to make it the 200, so... Run a ball. Run a, yeah, run yeah. a ball. If they could pick up a couple of boundaries. In, in Wilson looks for an LBW. Came off the middle of the bat, I think. Yeah, that one is definitely off the bat. <laughs> but, you know, you've got to keep these umpires awake by <laughs> appealing <laughs> yeah, sometimes. You do, you yeah. know, so. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I think Kerry will be like <laughs> <laughs> We'll keep him awake long yeah. enough now later on. Shot along the ground. Yeah. So one ball to come in Wilson's inning or I Wilson's spell. Young lad has done very well today. They'll push for two here. Mm. Out to Chris Thompson. And they'll get their two. They get the two. Yeah. Easily. Claps from the Kerry Faithful at the pavilion. 195 for nine into the last over now. Wilson finishes up on eight overs. One for 36. Decent return. Yeah. Great spell of bowling. Mm -hmm. One of the... Uh, the good young bowlers, better young bowlers, have seen coming along for a, for a very long time. And I wish the young man well for the future. So we are at the ball is last over. The last over of the, ma of the first innings. As a seagull comes in to land on the mud, yeah. for Cash look, gently pushes that out. Player will field off his own bowling. Kerry pick up a single. Nice looking oh ball, but lovely. misfielded. Lovely shot. Bit of a misfeel, eh? mm -hmm. Result of a single. 197 for nine. Four balls left in this innings. Yep. The feel is spreading a bit. You must feel that Cash is, Cash is looking for a big shot here. He doesn't get hold, get hold of that quite well. Big smile on his face. He knows that he could have done a little bit better. Yeah. He blocks that. It's kind of a push shot, actually. Yep. Single result. 199. Yep. Two balls to go in the... Kerry players are encouraged, encouraging Kashif to go big. I think he's saying I'm trying. Yep. And there he goes. He goes big. big. He'll pick up the single. Pick a single. That should Brings be 200. 200 up. Big cheer there for Kerry as 200 cups up on the board. One ball to go. In the, uh, in the over one ball. In the innings. A bit of a change in the field. A man comes out to deep square. The false start it's there. Yeah. They're yeah. playing a bit of mind games, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. There's no pressure though, that's the thing. There doesn't need to be any pressure. <laughs> Not on the last ball. No. Oh what happened there? Another edge. Got another edge there and they only look they'll they'll only be bring a single. So it, I think Ashif's it's not happy. There should have been two. Yeah. But that ends the over and the innings. Uh two hundred and one for nine. 
Lally Spallon will be looking for 202. Two. A good recovery by Kerry, but a very f- a very brilliant performance by Bally Spallon on the field. That's the end of the good innings. game all the way all around. Absolutely. So we'll quickly go just go through the scorecard before we take a break. Um so Kerry won the toss and decided to bat. More shed was out LBW to Kennedy. Uh Tabish Ali was out, run out by Luke Gilfallon. Stephen Awe Siger was caught by Stephen Kennedy, bowled by James Thompson. Josh Uden bowled Stuart Kennedy. Imran Pathan was run out by Pereira. Kura Mikbal was caught by Ruben Logan Wilson, bowled by Josh Wilson. Uh, Yakub Ali was caught by Set Guy, bowled by James Thompson for 13. Uh, Said Owe Bacha was caught by Stephen Kennedy, bowled by Stuart Kennedy for 28. Sorry, Awe Siger got 64. I forgot to call out his runs. Asad Raza was not out there for 6. Uh, Mo Sintaj was bowled by Demet Pereira for 17. Kashif Khan not out for f- a valuable 14 runs. There were 17 extras. 201 uh, for 9. Jay Bally Spallon used 5 bowlers. Thompson, James Thompson, 8 overs. 2 for 46. Stuart Kennedy, 8 overs. 3 for 23. Pick of the bowlers. Stephen Kennedy, 8 overs. None for 50. Josh Wilson, 8 overs. 1 for 36. And Damis Pereira, 8 overs. 1 for 40. So, uh, thank you, Bert, for uh, You're the commentary. Fantastic, and as always. Um, hopefully, you might join us later on again. I'll try and join you later on again. I, I so think both of us deserve a cup of tea. Yeah, we do. And a sandwich. And uh, yeah. nice a bit early for that, the, yeah. other, the other beverage. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit early for that, all right. <laughs> we'll be spluttering. <laughs> so, come, come back and join us later on, say in about 20 minutes' 20 time. 20 minutes' time. 20 minutes' time, and... Yeah, uh, go off and have a cup of tea and a sandwich yourself and uh, we'll see you then. Thank you very much.
So, welcome back to the Oyster Oval. The bell has gone, and we should be resuming shortly with the Bally Spallon innings. Bally Spallon will be chasing 202 to get to the quarter final of the National Cup uh, earlier. Kerry made a good comeback from being three down in the power play for about 30 odd to reaching 201. A great knock by Awe. Uh, 64 helped Kerry enormously. But Bally Spallon batted really, really well. Or sorry, bowled really, really well and fielded well. Elsewhere, uh, around the country, we read out a few results or, that are taking place, a few live scores. The National Cup, UCC against County Galway seems to have stopped. I don't know what went on there. J St. Johnson, 88 for 6 off 33, are playing against North County. Deryahi have recovered somewhat to 237 for five off 29.2. Craig Lewis is on 125. Railway Union are 148 for five off 28.2 against Traban. Bonds Glen were bowled out for 125 against Tiranur. Rush are oh, 200, were 260 for 6. Jared Barnes also scored 100 and there, 102 off 84 balls. There's 11 fours and 5 sixes. And then, uh, what else do we have? We go into the Irish Senior Cup. Six. Yeah, in the Irish Senior Cup, CIYMS are two hundred and sixty four for seven. 43.4 overs against new buildings. Uh, YMCA are 178 for 8 of 45 overs against Pembroke. Phoenix are 270 for 5 of 44 overs. And Clontarf are 203 for 8 of 46. I do have a score in the county versus the hills. The hills are 256 for 5. Donegan with a ton, still batting away uh, against Cork County. Best of the bowlers there for Cork County is Byron McDonough, eight overs, two for 41. So I'm joined. Jump in there. Hello. Join, join. <laughs> Ruben. Yeah, Ruben's here from, um, from Bally Spallon. Ruben, uh, how do you think that this game went? I think the You're first half. Two hundreds a bit of power score on this ground. Yeah. Um, not really much to say. It's just pretty yeah. average. A lot of big sixes head into the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Into the, the mud. Into the mud. <laughs> into the mud. Yeah. So a lot of retrieving. Yeah. Apart from that, I think it went all right. So let me have a look here. Kashif Khan is going to open up from the Spa Road end. Who's uh, batting there? Well, number one, that's our very own Andy Christie. And then if you see at the far end, that's Gange, also known as our Homegrown Paul Sterling. J James, St James, is, no, it's not. It's, it's uh, Andy Christie. Andrew. Edge. Looks like an edge and it's gone. Dropped. Looks like an edge, was it? Dropped. They were pilled, but I didn't hear yeah. anything. So, Andy, and who's the non striker? Uh, oh. That is Stephen Kennedy. S Stephen. Better known as uh, Paul Sterling. Stephen and Paul. <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on there. Get this. Okay, so Kashif, right, so the first one was a run to Andy. All right, 
real cat now. Should push for two here. Josh Uden retrieving the ball. Good throw in. Two runs there for Stephen. Ball must be swinging through the air a wee bit there. Yeah, yeah it is, especially with cash. You use your five bowlers. Did you only bring five? <laughs> <laughs> well, they brought me, but they thought I'd be too good. So All right, yeah. Right. You, you said earlier on you hadn't bowled in a while, had you? Only bowled once this year. All right. Not the best figures, not the worst. He's They're looking sharp enough, he isn't. Isn't he? Yeah, Cash. He's a big, strong lad. Yeah. We had a good crack earlier on when we were try watching him trying to put his pads on. Like He's he's built like a rugby player yeah. rather than a cracker, isn't he? Oh, cracker. Just me missed the edge of the bat there. So how are you finding, Kerry? The journey or the game? Well, go on, tell us the journey. <laughs> journey, well, eight and a half hours in the bus. Right. <laughs> Yesterday morning at 12, not too bad. Got got out of the bus, basically just played cricket at the, the Airbnb all night. Where did where, where, where you stay, do you remember? Uh, Abbey Lee. Abbey uh, Lakes, is it? Some, somewhere. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we are just staying out in an Airbnb there, not too bad. Well defended there by Stephen. There's Finn there passing by. He's some good bowlers. We do. Josh, uh, who was the first change bowler, number three. Yeah. He bowls regularly for the Northwest Emerging Warriors. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh. We were just commenting earlier on, myself and uh, Bert, yeah. how good he was. So that's the end of the first over. Three off it. Good start for Kerry. But more importantly, Bally Spallon haven't lost a wicket. Sometimes you wonder how, but yeah. they look like they're going all right out there. Yeah. So um, I was going to say, um, so that opening uh, power play, like he had them. Yeah, yeah it, it was a fantastic display. Yeah. Uh, the runouts were crazy, weren't they? That's Demith Pereira. Did I? Yeah. Doesn't miss. No. He's uh, yeah, he's really athletic and uh, he's a proper player. It's an easy mistake to make, just thinking easy single, but he's quick at it. But but here's the thing for me, it's communication between the wickets, mm. you know, between a lot of just running, not saying yes or no. Just two cents. Shot by Andy Christie there, four all the way. So Owe, Owe Sager is opening the bowling from the span, and his first ball is dispatched for a four by Andy Christie. Not a bad uh, scene here, isn't it? The ground. Oh, I've seen photos of it. Is it Cricket District or something posted it on yeah. a sunny day? Is most beautiful gr ground in Europe? Yeah, something out there. Yeah. I definitely would have to disagree. Yeah, uh, agree, sir. I'm sure whenever the sun's shining, that overview looks lovely. Yeah, the the mountains there. So dot ball there. Right hand, left hand combination here for Bally Spallin. Oh, it's in the air. Just find the gap. You normally play on grass, is it, up above? On a grass wicket? Yeah. Most days, unless something like wet day or something like yeah. that. Are you used to playing on artificials? Our youth cricket would definitely be on artificials, but apart from that, everything. Yeah. If there's a wicket available, you definitely try to use it. Yeah, that's flipped off his pads there. Looks like could be a single. They're looking for two. 
Bowler holds his ground. It won't take a second. I think there are many views or many many people from the club watching today. Trying uh, to give any shout out to anybody. Probably have to say hello to my mother who's watching way back uh, in the Largy. And then my girlfriend Caitlin who's watching. Do you know where Garva is? Where? Garva. No, where's that Garva? It's, uh, it's near a wee town called Coleraine. All oh right, yeah. I've definitely know. heard of Coleraine, yeah. Uh, she just lives just a wee bit outside that. Not much in the cricket herself, but... Yeah, I just want to hear your voice. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hello here. to both of them <laughs> listening. That's what matters. Yeah. Another dot ball there. So tell us a bit about the club. How long how long have you been there? Been there all your life? I've been there since whenever I first held a bat. Yeah. The earliest I can remember would be about primary two. Uh do you see primaries down here? Yeah, we do, yeah. But not, I don't know what primary two is. Is that like from fifth fifth five years up, is it? Uh primary two. Primary one's normally Six. Four or five, primary yeah. two is normally five, six. Okay. So I was about six, it was probably the season after. And then nice. by the time Christmas came and the first primary three, so about seven, I got my first kit for myself, which was just Christmas, came downstairs and there was a woodworm bat lion. Right. <laughs> Most excited day of my life. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since then, it's just every week, if I can play, I'm playing. That's brilliant. And like in school then, would you have had classes uh, in cricket? Like would there have been a development officer? Not going going in. Not on any of my schools. I've tried to set up a cricket team at the secondary school I'm at, mm. but they're not much of a cricket side. Right. The grammar school with some other players here, uh, Finn Craig and Seth Guy, they yeah. play cricket. Not very successfully, but they play cricket. <laughs> well, at least they're trying anyway, you know. Oh, big swing and a miss there. Is this the same as the first bowler? Uh, it's Cash, yeah. Cashif. So is there much traffic around the ground? Any people come in to watch? Or? No. Uh, you'd have a few. Well, you can hear all the cars. There'd be A lot of them would be tourists mm. going down to Fina down the road and um, or going to the restaurant in the, across the road. So uh, some would stop. But the, the problem is, is there's no parking for them and it's a uh, wide ball. Um, so some would, you know, you'd have cyclists coming up and down and... It's great for them to see, you know, they're, they're passing by and the next thing they see a, a cricket ground with this view. Mm. It'd be great if there was a bar because you, you <laughs> you'd clear up, you know, with all the passing trade. Yeah. But since the bar owner owns the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Some frustrations out in the pitch there. Absolutely. So uh, do they take the cricket quite seriously here or is it more a bit of fun? Oh, no, they take it quite seriously. I think um, they got to the National Cup quarter-final, semi-final a few years ago. Yeah. And I think Limerick as well. Limerick got to the final uh, against, who was it, uh, Railway before COVID, I think two years before COVID. So was there many cricket teams around this area? Not here. No, there wouldn't be. So well defended there by Christy. Another dot. You'd, you'd have to go to Cork now, Limerick. Limerick has expanded big time over the last few years. There are two or three new clubs that have been set up. Yeah. And each would have two or three teams. Not uh, too bad. Yeah, yeah, and Cork is the same. You'd have about four clubs. Another swing and a miss. I think Chrissy's getting frustrated out there. Yeah, she won't visible signs. Yeah, I think Stephen needs to have a come down and have a word with him to relax. Who are your main batsmen now for today? For today would probably be... Apart from yourself, obviously. <laughs> Apart from myself. <laughs> I'd say probably the danger wickets would be Stephen, Demet Pereira. Yeah. And Stuart can definitely swing a bat as well whenever he gets out there. Stuart Kennedy. But really it's mainly a team effort whenever it all yeah. gets down to it. Yeah. Seth Guy, he's probably another big hitter. It's consecutive 50s usually in the under-15 league. Oh, right. Yeah. Very good. Nearly one for the seconds a week or two ago. So, he can definitely get his eye on. Catch 
Cash comes in. Another swing and a miss. Cash screams. Looking for that edge. It's not coming, but that's the end of his over. And a good over it is too. Just one off it, just the wide. Ali Spallin, nine for no wicket off three. Early days here. I think probably what they should just do is bat themselves in first and wait for the ball to come. Absolutely. Instead of going yeah. searching for it. Yeah. Get behind the ball. So is there a lot of expansion down here in Munster? Huge, right huge. The um, Munster Cricket Union went from about 20, say, how many clubs? Well, we went from 12 clubs to about 13, 14. Mm -hmm. um, but it's the amount of teams out of each club has yeah. expanded. A lot of team, a lot of clubs now have, like Kerry here, have four. And they've also a new ladies team, which is the first time ever in Munster, really. And... Um, and that's a top, and that's caught. Big swing from Stephen. Unfortunately, it's caught in the slip. Looks like Josh Wilson's padding up to go on. I think that could have been the captain who took that catch, Corum. Josh, is it? Yeah. Good he's bowler, Josh, isn't he? Very good. But he's not just good with the ball, he's also good with the bat. Right. He's more of a shot maker than a slogger. Right. But he definitely can't have a big ball. They need to settle down here, a big partnership coming up. So two lefties at the crease. So like there are 32 teams now playing in, in Munster. Mm. Uh, when I was started, I could count, count in your hand. <laughs> yeah. But it's, incre it's because of jobs and there's a lot of Indian lads coming over for, you know, the, the tech jobs. Yeah. Uh, and the amount of youth players playing now is expanding big time. Mm. There was a bit of a lull there for years. It kind of goes up and down. Uh, like the first... Big wave was about 2007 after the World Cup, you know, mm. and Ireland did well in the West Indies. And um, the problem with Munster was always a lack of money to get development officers into, yeah. into school. But the money is slowly getting there. Good ball there from Awe. But they, what they've done in the, in Ireland is they every province or town like has a sports partnership. Yeah. So there's money coming from there for all different sports. And it's... You're fighting. It's a small yeah. pool of money. And you're fighting with all the ga, the rugby, the soccer. The, but cricket but seems to be taking taking shape in schools, which is fantastic to see. It's probably better that way, though, than them having to make their own money. Because most clubs don't have a bar or a shop no. and stuff like that. No. But it's players that they need. Yeah. You know, And you need a vibrant youth section. Because a lot of players come and go, as you know. And you need families. You know, all clubs need to be a family club. Mm. You know? So Awe comes in for his fourth delivery. Oh, that's a cracker of a ball. Nice line and length there. The expansion around this area must be probably similar to the Northwest. A few re-emerging sides. Yeah. Uh, the development of a ladies' league, one and two. That looks very uh, promising, doesn't it? Yeah, ladies, it yeah. does. Quite a, some ladies' teams even have a, B, a A and B team. Oh, brilliant. So, great to see expansion there. Good leave by Josh. Absolutely. He doesn't need to take any risks at the moment. Mm. Lots of time left. Just get yourself on. Mm. Wide ball. More of an effort ball there, wasn't it? Mm. Try to... Really hit that one in. Tried to do too much. Yeah. So who would your nat be your natural rivals up up the northwest now? Probably I would say Eglinton. Eglinton, the closest rivals to Ballyspawn. Well. Yeah. But it's kind of our area would be like Corey and Eglinton, and it used to be the Drummond, but they've right. dropped. Th would that be east eastwards? Was it? I'd say. We're a wee bit more north. Okay. Yes. Oh, just the, yeah, 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 yeah. And the dot ball there, and that ends the over. 
So successful over there for Awe. Really good opening partnership mm. with the bowling here. Similar to the way we started. Yeah. It's getting used to the track as well, isn't it? It's probably unusual. Yeah. The feeling of it compared to the brass wicket. So even if you ha see here now, uh, and I'll get that camera up for you. See the way it's the shape as well? Yeah. Is the second camera used? I was trying to figure it out there. I'll get that there, look. There's your second camera. Is this new or? I could get it. I could get a third one. More the merrier. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, you need more people then. You know. <laughs> so Kashif comes into bowl. It's driven back. For a dot. Batsman probably just happy to feel bad on ball. Mm. Great leave by Andy. Good line in length. They're very loud in the field. Uh, but the tails are up at the moment, they feel. So energetic. <laughs> We'll see in a while. Great That's shot by Andy. It's clipped off his legs there. Might go for a boundary. Looking, That's and it all does. All the way. Beautiful shot there. Not a good leave. Were you playing yesterday? No, we uh, had to leave early. Oh, sure, yeah, of course. Our seconds were playing, though, um, in the cup. It was the home game to Mahara. Right. They played very well. Did they win that? I think the score ended up, was it 140? We got, we got, we got 164 at the end, which looked like a great total yeah. compared to how we started a few early wickets. Yeah. And I think, what did Mahara end up on? Half appeal for an LBW, but, but it's quickly returned by Owe to the wicketkeeper, Imran Pathan. No run. I can't exactly remember the score, but they, w they won by 40 runs. Oh, very good. Is that a quarter? What, what round is that? Quarter final? Uh, well, there's only eight teams in our league. All oh, right, so, so you're getting to the semi final now. Yeah. Happy days. I think the, the fixtures played in two weeks. I think yeah. after the draw. Oh, that's hit off. That could be a catch here taken. It is. Oh, he was so unfortunate there. Oh. What's happening? Is there a... It's hit off the batsman helmet, I think. Was it the helmet or the... Oh, it was it off the helmet. I thought it was off the, the bat. So did I. Just just the angle. You wanted to, you wanted to check the helmet. Because that sounded like yeah, a nice yeah. old crack off that. Definitely sounded plastic, yeah. but it did look like the bat from this angle. So it's not a wicket. Umpires are going to have a look, check the that the uh, the brain cells are still there. I hear that someone was saying there that they're not there, but <laughs> you've got to give them the benefit of the doubt, doubt lads. Were they there to begin with? That's yeah. the real question. <laughs> so we'll end with a dot ball. Surely they could have taken a run there. <laughs> <laughs> so 14 for 1 off 5. A slow start from by Ali Spallon. Abbe comes in for his third over. Another good length ball and well left by Wilson. I think what they're trying to do is just wheel out these up on partnerships mm. just to really dig into the next players. 
I was thinking, you know, normally after f- five, you know, uh, after the tenth over, you know, you normally take off your two openers, you know, yeah, five each. And, and I was wondering, like, you know, at least he kept. Uh, was it Thompson on for another one? Mm. Yeah, they could easily do that too. And left again. I think from a body spell point of view, the key thing to remember is there's always overs left. Mm. Long way to go still. And it happened for Kerry as well. I mean, they had a bad start and then there was a good, very good partnership. Um, Most runs didn't seem to come in the power play. It was more in between. Correct, yeah. But when the field is spread out, it's easier to your yeah. ones and twos I mean they picked in fairness they picked off the bad ball quite well as well you know you need to get the ones and twos to really get comfortable yeah. with the bat in the hand yeah oh playing a miss Yeah, I think they'll get a run for this one. Ball's coming in quickly. Nice quick single there for Wilson. Ends the over. He keeps strike. 15 for one off six. It's good to just take a run here and there. Mm. Uh, to Giordio Hunt, he's having a quick laugh at uh, your little comment. Uh, we can't get rid of him. <laughs> Not leave him. No. Kashif continues from the Spa Road end. Cost. Not the best delivery, but you know what and O.A. dances for joy as he catches Wilson. It is usually the bad balls to get the wickets. Mm. Josh probably feels hard done by there. And it is the professional Damit Pereira coming in now. How long has he been with you? Is he this year or did he come last year? I came last year, but yeah. he comes for six months at a time. So we get him at the start of the season, then he goes home again, and then we take him back. Right. Where is he from? Sri Lanka or somewhere? Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, yeah. Very good wee batsman. Sometimes just takes him a wee bit to get in, but yeah, whenever he gets in, it's, yeah. it's good hitting. He had 149, I think, in our senior cup, 50 over against New Buildings. Well, Very unhappy that he didn't get the 150. <laughs> That's just Here, I'll take that any day of the week. Give me a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Nin- ninety-two or ninety-four is my or is my highest. I get off the duck. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me. Is he a left-hander? Yep. How many left-handers do you have? Quite a few. It's three, three now. I've seen. Only three. Do you see? Usually there'll be four, but Michael yeah. O'Brien's not playing today. Right. And tell me how many teams you have in your in your club. Uh, Men's just the first and the second, right? And then the two, not one ladies team and the three youths under eleven, under thirteen, under fifteen, right? So good good numbers yeah. for the younger ages, under 11s, under thirteens. Any good ones coming through? Uh, well, there's one specific one, Dylan McElhenney. Right. Who's He's only about 13, but he is on the wall. That's well hit. That could be caught here. Oh, and just missed. But that'll go for a boundary. Welcome boundary for Bally Spallon. Six to Damoth Pereira, was that? Or was that Andy Christie? Was it four? Four, yeah. Four to Damoth Pereira. It's some way to get off the mark. 
Could have easily been a, a fantastic catch. That's just sometimes luck of the draw. Absolutely. So the lads are looking for the ball. While they are, let's have a look and see what's happening in the the Irish Senior Cup. Uh, C I Y M S three hundred and seventeen for eight. It's coming into the last over against New Buildings. Northwest Crowda. They'll uh, that's some some going by C I Y M S. New Buildings can definitely had it though. They had a three hundred and forty, I think, against us. Right. We got close enough. I think we got yeah. two hundred eighties before we came all out, but good game at the end. Big match there in Dublin is the YMCA one all out for one hundred eighty nine against Pembroke. Uh, Phoenix, massive total here against North Down, 355 for 6 into the last over as well and Clontarf made 226 for 9 against Merion, another all Dublin clash see if we can get oh no, your currency Irish National Cup playing working properly cash back into the attack player looks for a leg by and he there is no run there definitely not wanted by the mid so when did you start streaming the matches um i started uh, july or august last year i was um during the lot i don't know Drives that they're one, struck. looking for they're looking for the single, and they will, may get it. Good run, Jakub Bali tried to throw it back to the keeper, but uh, I think it went to about fourth slip. Probably just the pressure. Take the single there. So during the um, the lockdown, I was watching. Um, I think the Wolves. Remember they went to Bangladesh, mm. and it was this system pitch vision. I thought this is yeah. brilliant, you know. So, what I did was I I thought look there's a lot of, a lot of sports were start oh and there was a chance for a run out there. Christy was very lucky. So I was looking around and I thought there's a lot of sports start to be put on YouTube. Mm. So I found the company that were doing the Bangladesh one and here we are. Yeah, here we are. The more the merrier. Yeah, the more cricket on TV, the better. Absolutely, but like you know, it's not broadcasted on RT or mm. the BBC. Even you know, yeah, shot Absolutely there crazy. by player, and that could be gone for a four. And is lovely boundary, very beautiful good. shot, very good striker of the ball, Dimit Pereira. I wouldn't be surprised now if Kerry make changes in the field in a minute. So Bally Spallen moved to twenty five for two off seven. Last over in the power, or no, yeah, in the power play coming up. Yeah, so I'll I'll be going to I'm, uh, I'll be going to cup more more grounds around Munster, yeah. uh, not just Kerry or Harlequins. I've gone to Cork County, but I'll be going to Lismore as well, which is in Waterford. I don't know if you ever heard of it. Exactly. They celebrate their hundred and fiftieth anniversary this year. Yeah. Good enough. Yeah. <laughs> So are you local to this area, or is it just you travel? Just to get the well, I, I'm from Cork. Yeah. So, um, so like, I came down this morning, but yeah, it's really travelled anywhere, you know. But it's great because I love, I love the sport, and yeah. I, lo I actually I love doing this. You know, mm. it's great crack. You meet meet interesting people like yourself. <laughs> That's well driven there by Christy for a single. A wee bit of footwork there in the field. Hmm. I tried that. Was I think it was your, was it yourself? He was doing a bit of fancy footwork as well with uh, up, up on the foot, you wasn't it? Up on the yeah, yeah. We did we did mention that the sea, it, it, you know, you should be signed up for uh, Premier League. Huh? Come on, come on. Ruben's going to jump there. Thank you for the moment. You've been ousted finally. <laughs> Chris is uh, joining us. I good. You'll have to speak into that now to so people can hear you. So I'm joined by Chris Thompson. Are you secretary, Chris? Are you? That's correct, Joe. Yes. Yeah. 
uh, just you'll have to get a, bit, a little bit closer. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, twelfth, uh, you were twelfth man today. I was twelfth man, but I got roped in to play. Unfortunately, one of our players couldn't attend, so yeah, I'm now eleventh man. <laughs> you batting eleven? I will be batting All eleven. Right, yes. Job. <laughs> so Awe comes in and. Oh, that's another cracking shot. It may not go all the way. I think the lads will need to hustle a bit. And it doesn't. Prayer was a bit deceived there by the shot. Beautiful looking shot. He's a fine player, isn't he? He's a lovely player, Demise, yes. Yeah. It took him a year, you know, to probably get used to the conditions. Yeah. He's a lot better player this year now. Than what more settled, probably. He's more settled. I think it was just getting used to the conditions and the wickets. Yeah. And well defended there. Two to come in this over. So you were fine. The ball was uh, finding you today. It was finding me, yes, too. <laughs> Anywhere where you were moved, it was Everywhere going. I, moved, the ball followed me. <laughs> I feel it tomorrow morning. No, I, I think say. you will. Yes. <laughs> But he uh, bowled and fielded pretty well, didn't he? Yeah, we fielded not too badly. I think yeah. there was just the one where the two guys got mixed up. Mm. Um, Bro, ball was swir ball was swirling a bit, it though. It was, yes. To be fair. Just within between the two of them. Yeah. So. But uh, all in all, it wasn't a bad... It wasn't a bad performance. No, 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 no. That ends the over. Three off that. Bally Spalner, 28 for two off the power play. I always love to see if now will will the umpires end the power play with the signal. <coughs> nah. Oh, there he goes. Gentle roll. So I was talking to Ruben there about your club. Um, when when were you founded? Just for. The audience it out there. It was the early 1900s. Uh, right. Um, the club was founded. Um, and we did, uh, unfortunately, we folded a couple of times um, in the 2000s, but got going again with the help of uh, just the local people. Right. Uh, it's really a family based club, um, a community based club, and run with the sheer hard work of volunteers. Of course. And we have a brilliant uh, volunteer and base, a good committee, and um, the ladies, I have to give them a mention as well. They do a lot for the club. And Ruben was saying you have a, a good ladies team as well. Yes, the ladies team, we just had, they just started a ladies, ladies team last year. Right. Um, and they're, they're sort of holding their own. Um, it's just like everything, it's new. They, a lot of them never played cricket before, yeah. so it's just getting used to it. Bit like Kerry actually, because they started a ladies team last year as well, and they haven't played a game yet. But um, I think Cricket Ireland are bringing down two teams from Dublin um, yes. down here in in August to get them started, which is great to see. Oh, that's a great ball! He's bowling very well, Kashif. That knock in the head didn't do him. No. Didn't no. I think he's he's playing better now since the, he got the knock on the head. I didn't actually. From where I was sitting, I yeah. thought it had hit his bat. Yeah, and that's what it I sounded it like, didn't it? It did. I thought it yeah. hit the bat, but it was a cracking ball. It shows the benefit of the helmet. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Came for an LBW, but looked to be going down leg of it. Still another dot ball. This pair will be looking to see out these openers. Yes, the two openers appear to be very pacey, very quick. Yeah. Had you ever played any monster team before? No, the furthest down I think we came, Leash. Oh, Leash, a few years, oh, yeah. Leash a few years ago, yeah. yes. And we played a couple of the teams. We played Rush, yeah. and we played the Hills as well. 
um, Cork County are in action think, against the Hills today. And I think Real Reunion came to us there yeah. two years ago. Well, right. Yeah. Maiden there for cash. Five overs, one maiden, one for 18. Good return for Kashif. So this would probably be the furthest down we've actually travelled. Yeah. They've never had to come. Even I'd say for some of the old lads, they would never have travelled down, even no. outside of cricket, you know. It's an adventure for some of them. Yeah. You know. yeah. <laughs> As you can see, it's a very young team we've got. That is, yeah. Apart from our... Yeah, I did, I did, I did, I did, I said old fogies. <laughs> <laughs> I did mention you. <laughs> so, Awe will continue from Trilly Bay End. The tide has really gone out now at this stage. She'll be turning in the next hour. And that's hit sweetly. That'll go for a massive six. Beautiful shot by Dimith. He's moved quickly on to 17. Speaking of the hills, the hills 293 for six off their 50 overs against Cork County. It's a big score. Massive score, Massive yeah. Massive score, yeah. M. Donegan with 127. That's whipped away again. Is that going to be another boundary? No, I didn't spot the man. Do you play much yourself? Not a t not not a big pile, no. No. Sometimes Do you have a taverner team? Mostly for the seconds. All oh, right. Um, okay. If um, if and when they need me. Yeah. It's a it's bit wide a there. I think they'll run one. There may be another one. Yeah, they'll run two. Prayer is looking for a three, but they won't go for it. And that's wide. Three off that. It's just that this weekend, uh, with it being on a Sunday yeah. um, and the travelling, um, a lot of people with work commitments on the Monday morning, and then we had young fellas with exams tomorrow as well. Oh, sure. Is it GCSE, is it? GCSE, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, when did they start? Did they just started tomorrow? Well, or? I, no, I think the GCSE is actually finished maybe this week. Oh, this okay. Week coming, they've started. They've started Same with the leaving cert. Yes. Steve, leaving cert down here, yeah. Another couple of weeks, the, the odd... Subjects are being done this week and next. Oh, well bold. Trying to tease Andy. Looked like an edge to me. Didn't carry. So that's 38 for 2 off 10. Roughly where um, Kerry were at this stage as well. You never know, you might be called into action um, <laughs> in the latter half of this innings uh, trying to get the winning runs. would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> It would be nice to get them, yes, yeah. but I hope that maybe I don't have to go in. No, I know that. <laughs> it's a lovely setting down here. It must be one of the nicest settings for a cricket pitch. Yeah, in the ground. distance there you can see um, see the, the white Lennerville. It's a yes. windmill. Yes. Yeah. That's just outside, so Trilly will be to the left of it. Let me get that up on camera there. So on your screen there... In the middle, top, you see a white building. That's Blennerville uh, Windmill. And then is Dingle, is it further down? So the there's, so across the bay is the Schlieve Mish Mountains. You follow the mountains over, and then you just cross the mountains down towards the end, and you're into Dingle then. So 
So change your bowler. Lamb more shed into the attack. Starts with a dot. He's a clever bowler, this. He's been around for a while. It's caught a wave nicely. Will it go for a boundary? Oh, it's could have been uh, could have been stopped, but Fielder decided to try and use his leg. But ball went through. So love nice boundary there by Demeath. Moves him on to twenty two and Bally Spallen on to forty two for two. You've a feeling he could take spinners to the cleaners the way he's battling at the moment. A bit shorter there. Just clipped off the legs for a single. Will be the main sport now around Bally Spallen. Well, there's uh, it used to be the cricket, but yeah. a few teams um, folded, and now there's a few teams actually have started up again. Yeah. The likes of Drummond and um, unfortunately the likes of Crundle, they withdrew. They 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 folded. Um, so I suppose you've got your soccer and your GAA. Yeah, and yeah. Your normal sports. Yeah, yeah. And you find that you're competing all the time for, for youths with them, or uh, it's very difficult to manage to get young people and uh, interested in cricket. We, yeah. we have a good youth set up in Ballyspellin, yeah. yeah. and we have a lot of young people actually come to the practices and three three youth teams with different age group. It's just great, and it's just trying to build the club. That's what we're trying to build with the youth that we've got. As you see, the team today, yeah. Um, Three quarters of that team today were probably the ones that would be playing for the first. So yeah, and at times maybe the average age is sitting there at about twenty years of age. Yeah, I know, but the the, the well, if you can hold on to them, yes, that's and it. they don't go, you know, mm -hmm. tell them not to go to college. <laughs> you might, you know, that's the it's the grounding of a a team for the next ten years, you know. So Owe is coming on to bowl now from the. Trilly Bay End. We'd Bert earlier talking about uh, crab fishing, weren't you? <laughs> A great old chat about it. Do you do f any fishing yourself? You're next to Loch Foyle, are you? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah. And the uh, River Row as well. Yeah. Uh, River Fawhan. I used to fish whenever I was in the younger days, but yeah. not, not now, you know. There's great I history around that area. Just don't have the time anymore for it. So. Top ball. For Owe, starting. A little bit of a partnership here now, 28. You feel these two are key to the innings. It's a beautiful on drive there. Just for a single. Now you find that most of the clubs that are up in the northwest, the vast majority of them are concentrated around West Tyrone, um, the city, Derry, Stoke London, Derry. Yeah. Um, west of the Fahan. Um, there's ourselves in Eglinton and Drummond and Coleraine then. Yeah. On the east side. But the vast majority are sort of concentrated up in that. They are, yeah. Uh, area, and well, it's that... The channel that we well, say those from the south would drive up. Yeah. You have all those grounds all the way up, and then you have St Johnston on the other side of yeah. the of the of the border as well. I think they're actually playing today against North County. I'll pull that up there for you now in a sec. There we are, one hundred forty-two for seven in their innings. 
That's a great shot there by Christy. Pulled away for a boundary. Welcome boundary there. St. Johnson were struggling in that game. I think they were really something for six. They were. Sort of made a bit of a recovery. Yeah. That. Let's go into it. David Lapsey. Would yes. you know of him? Yeah, yes, 75, yeah. Have a look at the scorecard there. I can see, my God, that's mad. So the scorecard is one duck, 70, 75, six duck, two, two, 48. Nathan Cole and David must have put on a big partnership towards the end there. So another, while we're speaking of ducks, dots we'll talk about. So another dot ball there. See what else? Derry, he put on a huge total there. Against Glen Dermot. And Railway Union were bowled out by Straban for 183, which is quite good. Straban aren't doing too badly this year, you know. Mm. They've, they've sort of... Um, they're rejuvenated. Yeah. Um, they're playing very well this year. Aaron Gillespie in particular, he's playing very well this year. He would be sort of their star man. Yeah. Very, very good player. Do you, uh, do you follow the Interpros at all? We do, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, actually, the Kennedy's brothers, uh, Graham, he, he's with CA YMS now. But yeah. He, he's unfortunately, he's away now. He's over in England playing with, I think it's one of the Ireland B teams or yeah. whatever. It's, isn't um, it, it, wasn't it strange that um, Cricket Ireland sent them all over there, you know, when the Irish Senior and National Cups are taking place? I just thought, you're, you're robbing clubs of their star players, you know? Yeah. It's fine, it's fine. I know maybe it was an opportunity that they couldn't turn down, but... Um, who are they against? They're against the second string side, aren't they? One of the county seconds teams. Is it? Gloucester, I think it is. Think it is? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The Graham's still playing for the Warriors. Yes, yeah. The Northwest Warriors. So we do follow it, yes. Yeah. Uh, You've been unfortunate with the rain. Um, yeah, every it time. Wash, it got washed out a few weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Nice quick single there by Christy. He's playing very, very well. I'm thinking of going up for that final uh, IP50 match uh, between Munster and the Northwest Warriors up in Eglinton oh, yes. the end of the end of the month because I think the winner of that could come from that game. Nice square cut there by Demeath for another single. And then at the start of July up there at Brady they have the women's try. Tri series, yeah. Tri series with Australia, Pakistan, and Ireland. Amazing. I'm not exactly sure of the dates, but it's those first. Australia, of weeks uh, Australia, are an amazing team, aren't they? Oh, that's beautifully clipped around the corner. It's they'll get two. Christy comes back for his second. This pair now have settled down nicely, keeping the Kerry fielders quiet for the moment. They were chirping. The early stages of this innings. 53 for 2 off. 12.3. Christy's very good with his with his hands. As a fan, he gets in. He's, he's hard to shift. You know, yeah. It's just... It takes him a wee the, while to get going. The, just the delicate, uh, the, he has yeah. the little delicate touches. He's a bit like myself. He has the years yeah. on him. That's just, uh, <laughs> well, ho well hopefully we'll forgive me for saying maybe, that. Maybe everyone <laughs> wants to see you back now, actually. You know, we might have a word with the captain. <laughs> and that's well. Oh, that ball there. The end of the over. 55 for two off 13. Good steady pace here by Bally Spallon. Things are a little bit quieter out there now for Kerry. Might need to change it up a little bit.
Is the cricket big down here in Munster? Is it? It's it's getting there. Yeah, it's getting there. Um, I was talking to Ruben about it earlier on. Like there would be a team in Kerry. Um, there would be two or three teams in Limerick and Cork. There's four. Well, it's actually the. Oh, that's beautifully hit. They'll go all the way for a boundary, up over. Six. Yeah. yeah. Big shot there, by Demeath. It's the, it's the quantity of teams within the clubs that they've expanded. Most teams now have three, four, five teams yeah. at the stage. And then the youth teams, they would be with the, the bigger clubs. Yes. But they're starting. Munster were behind the curve for, for years regarding provincial, uh, you know, bring guys into the schools. And now there's a bit of money around in the different, uh, like in Cork, Kerry, and it's always been traditionally the, like the GAA yeah. Line here. Yeah, of course. Like but of course, football. like, yeah. Hurling, football, they'd be the main things. And then around Limerick, then you'd get the, the clusters of the uh, rugby, you know, um, especially among the secondary schools. Easy single there for Demeath, followed following his six. Away fields off his own ball, but it's growing. That's and that's, oh, that's the good, good thing, yeah. you know. And it's trying to get the structures in as well. Um, yeah, you don't you don't want it to grow too big too quick, you know. Uh, the Northwest they have a number of school liaison officers, and yeah, uh, they go into all the schools and run various projects throughout the year and whatever, trying to get people interested yeah. in the cricket. And then you know. linking, I would imagine, linking the clubs to the schools then. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's good because you're keeping, as well, you're keeping coaches within the environment. At least they're being paid to do it, you know. And Christy takes a simple single. Partnership now coming up to 50 for this pair. Good running between these two. a slower ball there but it's gone down leg for a wide Better ball by away, don't he doesn't need to do anything different. Just there now. Uh so that's the end of the over. So sixty five for two. How many overs is that gone? Fourteen Joe? overs gone. 14. Yeah. 26 remaining. Run rate is no issue for Valley Svalin. They're up to nearly up to the run rate here. 4.68 looking looking for about 5 5 and a bit and over at the moment. There's a change in bowling here.
So Ta- Tabish comes into the <laughs> into the attack. And he's greeted with a massive six by Damith. Beautiful shot there. And Demeath moves to 60. Sorry, 40. I take it, do the games wait until the tide goes out? or No, they keep going. I'm just wondering if the ball goes over that fence. Do oh, it does. The oh, they do, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But they mainly mo- lose a lot more down by the... Uh, I'll show you down by the wall there because uh, it's reed, reeds and rushes. So if you see there all the reeds and rushes. Yeah, see them. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was fielding over there. Yeah. Oh, you were, of and course. Just, and just hoping nothing went in there. Because <laughs> nothing comes back out. <laughs> you've also, normally you've got cows and uh, I heard there was a bull there once and no one would go into the field to retrieve the ball because of the bull. <laughs> I wouldn't blame them, mind you. Especially if you're wearing any bit of red in your <laughs> coloured tops. He's a very good striker of the ball, isn't he? I think they found may have found the ball. It's one of the greatest pains in cricket is uh, losing a ball, stamping yeah. around grass or in bushes, trees. Well, we have a little stream burn that runs parallel to our ground, right? And the banking sometimes there's a lot of rushes and stuff. Yeah, and. There's a fair few balls still in there yet. I you just don't. You just don't find them. No, it's That's amazing, it. isn't it? Yeah. So that, uh, that that that'll rot away now within two two years, three years. Yeah. And probably. stitching stitching goes first, and then the leather shrinks, and Tabish comes in for a second. Oh, and a swing and a miss. Ooh. Looks for an edge. I don't think anybody heard anything. Good comeback, though. Well defended by Demeath. Which way did you come down now yesterday? We came down um, via Dublin. Oh, did you go to Dublin? Dublin yeah. route. Miles wise, coming down the west side, yeah, is a few miles shorter, but time wise, no, the roads are a lot better. Of course, so keep them to the motorways. And that's pulled away again. There'll be another boundary. Lovely shot. You feel anything short, Demet will punish you. He moves to 44. Bally Spahn moved to 75 for two of 14.4. Yeah, the motorways are quite good, aren't they? Yeah, we stopped, yeah. I think, two or three times on the way down. And oh, did you? We yeah. stayed in a, an Airbnb last night oh, yeah. outside Abbey Field. Yeah. Um, and it was good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, some. Enjoyed themselves, I think. <laughs> it's not uh, showing there. Yeah. Maybe the older lads did, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But it saved that you could never have drove down this morning. It was too too oh long God, to no. drive. No. Far too long. You couldn't do it. You'd want to leave at what one? One a.m. I would say probably about four in the morning. Four. Left, oh yeah. And that's pulled away again, but only out. Cover. For a single. 
11 off this over so far. on that one and that's the end of the over very good over for Bally Spallon did you find it amazing the amount of tolls on the way down there's I a toll there like it's crazy three, three of them yes. yeah. Yeah. yeah like if we go down from come from co going down to Cork there's another one or two on the way right okay nuts we don't have the tolls up north but there are really only the two motorways up there so it's just going to from Belfast to Dublin and Belfast to Derry, is Belfast it? Belfast across to probably near Enniskillen. Near Enniskillen. And then the other one stops Aren't they about three quarters of the way maybe to London or Derry on the, from Belfast. So. Yeah, and when I was there last couple of weeks ago, um, they, were, they were building a new motorway, I think. Yeah, they're looking just from Dungiven up, to, up yeah. to the city up that in looks the mad. West. That looks mad. So I suppose you could hear there. Josh Uden is coming on to bowl. Four outside the ring now for Kerry. Tractor passes by. Hear the diesel engine. Try. Chrissy tried to sweep that, but it's gone down leg and wide. He goes again. This time he connects. Surely there should be two here. And he picks up two. Good to see guys sweeping. I we don't we don't normally see sweeping down here at all, you know. Um Oh, good ball. They seem to like the the straight drives. Yeah. There quite a lot. Yeah. It's nice right. to see though, isn't yeah, it? Rather there's than very few actual leg side pulls there yeah, today. Yeah. And the uh, carry innings. Yeah. A lot a lot of straight, just straight yeah. bat hitting. Yeah. It's good to see proper cricket. I think because of the shape of the ground, it's wider hitting down the ground, so you've got more of an opportunity if you hit straight, more more of an opportunity to to get boundaries, you know. And it is, it's like a bell, if you look at it. The way the ground is shaped, it's like a bell. Oh, chance. Big chance for Kerry. Have you ever been to Rush? The Rush is a strange shape of a ground. I haven't. I haven't, so but I've heard so much about like it. It's like L-shaped. Is it? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> goes in beside where the pavilion is. Yeah. <laughs> I heard there's one end, all right, that's pretty small. And that's going to be pulled. Bit of a long hop there. And that. And a boundary brings up his 50. Beautiful shot by Demeath. And he's, his 50 comes off 29 balls, with 5 fours and 3 sixes. Is 
really good for you. Are they missing a couple of players today as well, Kerry? I don't think so. Right. Oh, there's one. Yeah, they they'd be missing one. Um no. So Yakub Ali comes on. Spinner here and out. Got swept. Oh. I thought he was going to get caught there. Yeah, yeah, I think if he had jumped. <laughs> Nice shot by Christie. And the ball's gone missing again. So now they've retrieved the ball. Partnership of 74 now. Very similar to the Kerry innings. Kerry need, need to take one one of these wickets pretty quickly. Good ball there by Yakub. Well blocked by Andy. So do you actually cover all the monster monster areas? Um, yeah. yeah, I I have my own kind of little channel as well, but okay. um, I'm just do, we're doing it on the the monster channel, the ones I do for monster. That's swept again. Is there a chance? No. And that'll run away down for another another boundary. I think it once it hits that hill, it's very difficult yeah, for it to is, get it yeah. back. Might have to bring someone in, will they? It's close to nearly being caught. No one was in close. Top ball, nevertheless. Another good over there for Bally Spallon. <coughs> 93 for two. Three overs remaining until drinks. Required run rate is now below 4.5, sorry.
Josh continues from the three bay end. Driven past the bowler for a single. And Kerry will welcome the drinks break to regroup. That, that could be out here and taken by Kashif. Unfortunate there. But good innings there by Andy Christie. That breaks the partnership, a partnership of 79. Coming into the attack now is uh, sorry, is Luke Gilfallon, the wicketkeeper. Unfortunate there, man, to lose a wicket before drinks. The fielder was well positioned there. It was a good, good field. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. For that. Yeah. Where he'd been milking runs off that, off that shot for a long time now. Just one too many. So the breakthrough from Kerry. An appeal and it's given. Don't know what that hit. What, what, what do you think that hit? Well, it doesn't seem to be too. Um, Shaky way. He said, I thought it was this. He said helmet or something or. But Luke has to go. And James Thompson comes into bat. Sort of a player is James. <laughs> well, I have to be very biased here because he's yeah. my son. But, oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dad. Has, well, happy uh, Father's Day, by the way. Know, and to all dads out there. He has good days. Yeah. He? Maybe not so good, but he's pretty steady. I should, I should have kicked. He's a consistent player, I would say. Just yeah. And he's just keen cricket since he was no high. No way. He just lives and breathes cricket. Brilliant. So. Must have been great so to be playing with him today. <laughs> he was he was schooled me a few times. Is he? <laughs> Good. It's wide. down to a more of a 45 roll but no run there so a breakthrough for Kerry good over for them 95 for 4 off 18 no panic stations yet for Bally Spallon 
still ahead of the run race. So the question is, who'll have the bragging rights tonight in the Thompson household? <laughs> well, it was definitely James. He took a couple of wickets earlier, so... That's fair enough. <laughs> Yaku back on again for his second over. Looking for that LBW, but I think he was a. You could put down the Absolutely, there. Yeah. yeah. I was going down leg as well. Oh, beautiful. It's tickled shot. off, yeah. It'll be a couple there, I would imagine. The one thing is these two guys will be fairly fast between the wickets. Yeah. Two, but that's what you want. Guys, yeah. That's what you want at this stage. Yeah. Puts the pressure back on the bowling team. Blocks there by Demeath. And does he play for uh, teams that win Sri Lanka as well at a good standard? He does whenever he's back home, yeah. Yeah. He does, yeah. So he's, he's exactly six months here, is he? Is that how, how long does he... April to August. Oh, right, yeah. okay. Oh. Does he coach as well? He does, yes. Oh, yeah. He's a very lovely... lovely look for There's uh, overthrows here. He'll pick up a second. He's a lovely temperament of a fellow too. You know, there's absolutely no bother or issue. Yeah. Him. He's a model professional. He's and he's the same age as a lot of the guys in our team. So, you know, they, they get so on. Sometimes, well. though, does that could be a hindrance, you know, if there's a yeah. big drinking culture. But There isn't really an our place. No, now, no. That's good. Oh! oh! I, don't, I don't think there was bat on that, but... Just missed the top of the bales. Yeah, and yeah, close. yeah. Kind of popped in, popped in and out of the keeper's uh, gloves. Ninety-nine for four. Another top ball there. That ends the over. One till drinks now. I think we're kind of even, Stevens. It looks yeah, Chris. It's very close, yeah. Yeah. It's a good close game, this yeah. contest. Kerry players are shouting at each other to encourage encouraging each other. Those two quick wickets were essential for Kerry to get back into the game because there was nothing happening for them. Woodland comes in with his third. He had two wickets in the last over. What can he do in this over? That's fairly full and big loud appeal. Umpire Rutland looks at the ground. Not out. It's a big shot there. Lovely by Thompson. And he's off the mark. That's the 100 up for Bally Spallon. Halfway there now. Prayer goes. Oh, it's just a single. 
good fielding out there by the Kerry player to limit it just to one. And Thompson hits a huge one. Where's that going to go? Looks like a boundary. And it's gone for a six. Beautiful shot. There. One to come in this in this over. Last one before drinks. Hundred and eight for four. Thompson bringing a bit of momentum into the Ballyspallon innings, complementing the set batsman to meet. That's caught away nicely. They'll take the single. That'll be the end of the over and drinks. Oh, maybe not. So that's where it is at the moment. Poised evenly between these two teams. Bally Spallin chasing 202, or 109 for four, and we're at drinks. Uh, join us in a bit for the last 20 overs. I'm sure this could be an exciting game. So, talk to you in about five minutes.
So drinks are over. Teams are coming out. This last 20, I was just talking to Chris. We can't wait for this last 20 overs. Chris, do you think this will be a nail biter? Most definitely, Joe, yes. This is going to be a tense affair. God, it's very I think, I think from a Valley Spelling point of view, the <laughs> Meath needs to hang in there for as long as he can. Absolutely. Does it remind you of uh, the last game against uh, Temple Patrick? That was a four-run affair as well, wasn't it? Was it was fairly close now at the end yeah. of that one. There was one of the Temple Patrick players got yeah. grounded, and uh, yeah. he was once he went, that changed the game, but yeah. he almost had the game won for them. Yeah, the sim- similar to, I think, yeah. uh, Muck and Moore were down here in Kerry, and that went to the last over as well. Yeah. <laughs> Never let it get to the last over. So off we go, Yakub Ali returns for his third over. Checks his field. Everything is fine. And Demet starts off with a single. Moves to 58. Getting a bit darker here now in Kerry. Don't think it will rain. Certainly got a lot colder over the last hour. Go for a quick single. Thompson quickly back. Non striker's end. And we're on Nelson. 111 for four. Well, Bert, what do you think the chat was in, um, in the Kerry changing room at drinks? Yeah, just trying to uh, jewel himself up a bit. Believe Is that what you would say to them? What would you say to them? Oh, James tries to sweep that. Missed it completely. Three off this over so far. Defends this one now. Can't throw. They can't throw their wickets away. Oh. <laughs> A lucky man there. Absolutely. That ends the over. 112 for four off 21. Didn't get in line with the ball there, did he? No. Did that go between bat and wicket? Though? Yeah, yeah. Between Will this actually be recorded onto the monster? That that guy. YouTube site. Yeah, you'll be able YouTube to when you get home you can watch it later, yeah. Watch it again, yeah. Yeah. That's pulled away. That's a massive six. Heading towards the toilet facilities. The roar from the crowd is you can't bowl there. Better flight by Josh. Just the dot. Demeth has moved to 65. Well fielded there by Owe. Imran comes up to have a word with, with Josh. 
I hope it, I hope it's I hope it's I hope it's the right advice. For the Kerry's sake. Be quicker. I think that's what he said. Wide. But wide. But the thing is, I'm sure Demet was expecting something different. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's better at flight, flighting the ball up. Nice single down the ground for one. It must be a strange sensation for Demeath playing on the likes of the artificial surface. Yeah. Because they would have played on wickets. It would be nearly like a hard road. Of course, yeah. A different pace altogether. Yeah. And then the it's not a bad wicket. You know. But it does take a while to get used to it if you're playing on grass all the time. That's caught away, but... Right. Yeah. No pace on the ball, really, to cut it. Eight off this over so far. Two balls remaining. 120 for four. That's better. It's just... I think that was a five ball, five ball over, by my reckoning. Is that the end of the over, according to the umpires, anyway? 120 for four off 22. 82 off 108 balls with six wickets in hand. There's one of the clubs in the northwest now, Eglinton. They have like it's like a hybrid. Oh like right, yeah, the new hybrid like pitches. Yeah. I wonder what that's like to play on. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't. We'll we'll ever know. I know the guys <laughs> played them a couple of weeks ago, but I've yeah. not really had yeah. much chat about it. Now. Caught away nicely, just for the single by Demeath. He makes it look at look look at very easy, doesn't he? Well That's a, a bat. He is a, yeah. he is a, a classy actor. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's nothing complicated about his shots. No effort at all at no. times, just as a yeah. just technique. Yeah. So Great wrist action as well. James comes forward. Well blocked. They don't need to take any risky shots here. Just build keep building that partnership. Changing the field now. Trying to tempt James here to slog here. No, James doesn't fall for it. Good bowling here by Yakub. One ball to come in this over. That's nicely caught away into the covers. They'll pick up a couple here. Throw comes back in. That ends Yakub's over. 123 for four of 23 overs. One, two, three, four. Mm. That's a big score there on your screen, the 3-2-6 for eight. 
Yeah, CIYMS. I thought that was going to be a very close game, that one. The two new buildings would be one of the... the two, two, six for eight. Yeah, good yeah. luck. Yeah, new buildings. Yeah. yeah, new buildings would be actually one of the better teams in the northwest at the minute, and they're sitting there at 20 for three now. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see who did the damage there for... Tennessee. God, everybody everybody scored in that, uh, in that innings. I've never seen something like that before. Well, there's Mark Adair. He, uh, yeah. And Ross Adair, very good players. Uh, God, there's some good... So the Kerry captain comes on to bowl, Coram Iqbal. Replaces Josh Uden. Another spinner in. Can also bowl seam. Who will be the main player there now for for new buildings? Well, Gareth McKeegan's still there. That's high up in the air. A chance for a catch. Oh. It drops short. I think, I think the fielder could have tried to dive for that one. That's the first error that Demeet has done all day. Yeah. Went straight up in the air. Yeah, that new building's game... Um, well, Gareth McKeegan's still there and Jared Wilson. Jared and Wilson's the two main, there. Two yeah. main batsmen that are left. Yeah. They've got Ryan Hunter very cheaply there today by the looks of it. And uh, he scored out 152 against us a few weeks ago. Go ahead. Uh, so they're in a bit of trouble now. You'd have to fancy... Uh, oh, yeah. going there at the minute, that CI. Yeah. Uh, upper hand in that one. It's like six, six and over. They really need to push it in. Yeah. Yeah. Nice ball there by Coram. That's hit hit hard off the artificial wicket. Just for a single. Oh, beautiful ball there. To meet advancing down the wicket, but I kind of got stuck. Gets a single. This be the end of the over. 126 for four off. 24. 16 overs left. 96 runs to get. Sorry, 76 runs to get. Of 96 balls. Let's see what other games are going ahead at the moment. So, good start there by YMCA. They've Pembroke 45 for 4 off 14 overs, chasing 189. North Downer 50 for 3, chasing 355 against Phoenix. Marion are also start off slowly with 48 for 4. Off 12, chasing 2-2-6. Dot there by Yakub. <laughs> Good quick single there by the lads. That's a remarkable feature in this game. There have been so few extras, actually. It's a credit to both teams. Both innings, is yeah. <coughs> in the whole game. Yeah, 
trying to score. Yeah, at the start of the season, though, I'd seen scorecards of 48, 50 extras. Not, not in the whole match, that's in one innings and the same in the other. So it's mad, like, towards, you know, we're in the middle of the summer now, and the bowling is uh, pretty consistently bowling well at the moment, most teams. Nicely flighted. By Yakub. Out there now. Get lucky. Yeah. That's well hit. Is that going to go for a boundary? Yes, it is. Welcomed boundary there by Demeath. Hundred and thirty one for four. Defends this one. Oh, what a shot. What an absolute scorcher of a shot. One of the best shots of the day. Advances down the wicket. One foot. Huge shot. That's, massive. That's incredible. That's That takes to me to 80. It's a small in stature. There's nothing to him either. Yeah, He's yeah. He is so slim, so fat, yeah. so fat. <coughs> Aren't he we all is, jealous? He has, a, <laughs> he has a certain regime every day where he goes and he gym work and stuff. Yeah. You know. And he goes again, tries exactly the same thing. And same result. Another six runs. He's decided to take on Kuram. Terry will rue that chance that they had a few overs ago. That takes to meet to eighty six. What can Gary do to get him out? Is the question. And it's, it's the same dispatches for another six runs here. He's on a mission to get home early. 149 for four off 25.5 overs. That's, yeah, that's incredible hitting. Big hitting now, that. <coughs> yeah. When is that? Seven sixes now? Seven sixes, six fours. Let's have a look. Down on one knee. Beautiful shot. Nine 
22 runs. He's going to do this time. Sensibly, he just pushes it in for a single. End of the over, and he takes strike. That was some over. It was a big over, that Yeah, high. huge over. Some big hits in that one. Right. Very small one, but he could dispatch the ball all around the place. The other one, much more modern day, is uh, Sen- Sachin Tendulkar. Yeah. yeah. Built about the same in stature. Yeah. But, you know, know how to play the, the ball, which ball to play, yeah. which ball to lead. That's, and that's the crucial one, isn't it? When to play a yes, shot. Right, when yeah. to play a shot. Yeah. Change of bowler here. Hanif Mohammed, he was the first player to make an individual score of over 400 runs. 400? Yeah, 444. He made in a zone match in Karachi. 444. He would, and that stood, stood for a long, long while until Brian Lara broke the record for 501. So it looks like Tabish is coming back here. On a great Ooh, start for Tabish. So close. To getting the edge. Another beautiful cut shot backwards. Yeah, moves to 97. He's faced 58 balls. I think we're seeing something special here today in Kerry. They must lose some balls in that op- in that place as well. <laughs> Funny enough, behind us is even worse, but uh, they never go in into the reeds and rushes. And he pulls that one. That has to be. There's a chance here. Settles and he's out. Oh, oh my God. What a catch. What a knock by Damith. 97. It was a good catch. But he set the team up now nicely. They don't need to do anything rash. But Kerry are back in this game now. So Yakub took that catch. Yes. <coughs> Stuart Kennedy has come in. I think that ball was lost. Or oh it's been changed actually. I think uh, Demet has turned it into mush. <laughs> so the bag of balls has come out. Not a briefcase. Well, this 
Beta's first, was it? Yeah. Bert is saying that it was commentator's curse. Umpires are taking their time looking over the range of balls. Haven't seen this in a while now that Taking two, three, four minutes. And I think they've selected one out of the the bag of used balls. Game on again, Chris. Oh, it certainly is now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This game's very much in the balance now. Yeah. So. Forty eight ones required off eighty one balls. So three balls left in this over. 154 for five off. 26.3. Oh. James Stewart next needs to take his time now. There's plenty of time left. Yeah. It's a lovely shot, looking shot there by by Stewart. No one. Oh, oh. Wide ball. Tavish now has injected real pace into this game. I think they had about 20 odd overs of spin. They'll pick up a pair here. Coming back. Good end to the over. Crucially though, Demeath went. It was caught by Yakub for 97. 157 for 5 off 27 overs. Elsewhere, North County 81 for 5, chasing 142. Cool. So much up there. Yeah. yeah. Glenn Dermot are 57 for 4, chasing 329 Deriahi. Straban are 41 for 5. Recur 143 runs against Railway Union. Middleton are 116 for 7. Chasing 260 at Rush. Looks like Yakub is coming on from the Chile Bay end. Uh, That's hit in the air. Oh, and it's missed. They'll scramble for a single. I just landed up in no man's land, that yeah. one. Quite fortunate there. 
But he's still there, more importantly. Frustrating for Jakub. He's had several balls gone in the air. And Kerry haven't taken their chances. See what Stewart can do. Oh. Is that just a leg by? Or tickle off the bat. Just off the bat. I yeah. didn't see any signal. Yeah. So 43 needed now. Slowly but surely the runs are being knocked off. Nice slower ball there. Absolutely. Yeah. There isn't very much between the two teams. No, there it's isn't, very, no. It's a very tight yeah. matchup. It's exciting. Well stopped by Jakub off his own bowling. Only two off this over so far. Ali Spallin's run rate is, is really good at the moment. No fear at the moment of them dropping down. Beyond that five. Swept nicely. They'll get a single for this. Nice shot. The end of the over, 160 for 5 of 28. 12 overs left, 42 runs requ required. And James Thompson will be on strike. Tabish will be back on. Took the crucial wicket. Two overs ago, off the meath. First ball is blocked. I think there'll be a lot of nerves now in the dressing room for the remainder of the batsmen. Oh yes, <laughs> a lot of these <laughs> guys. Including the last one. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these guys would they be normally playing twos and not ones? Would they? Probably, yeah. yeah. Most of them. Yeah. yeah. It's a great experience for them, though. Oh, they've enjoyed it. They yeah. enjoyed their little trip down. Yeah. yeah. Little trip. <laughs> yes, yeah, just, just a little bit. It's a pity. There's, you know. The, the airport connections around Ireland are so bad. Oh, oh swing and a miss. James is probably having a word with himself. I think the rest of his team are from the pavilion <laughs> as well. <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> What they don't need to do now is let the runs dry up. It's well played. And they'll go for a quick single. Stuart was quick off the mark there. 161 for five. Very pacey, Tavish. He seems mm. to have a bit of an up. It's the, uh, his action. Yes. He's got a quick arm action. He doesn't run in quick. He jogs in. Oh, that penetrates the field. Lovely shot by Stewart. Last ball in this over. See a 
it's a, a boundary or a six now would relieve some of the, the pressure the batsmen are under. Oh. And he's going to walk, is he? Yes, he's walked. That's fair play by James. Caught by the slip. Good ball by Tabish. He picks up another wicket. I need to, I need to go now, Joe, and get my pads. Yeah, on thank you so much, Chris. You're welcome, Joe. You can give him a scolding there in the changing room. <laughs> so James leaves. He's probably getting his pads on now. We might see him sooner rather than later. So Seth makes his way to the crease. Stuart will be on strike. Forty runs required. A coop bowling his sixth, seventh over starts with a dot ball. Well defended by Stewart. And again, I think Stuart was thinking of driving that ball. Decided to block it. And there's an edge, was there? Thought I heard something. Wicket keeper very quick, taking the bales off. Not out. Bert joins me again. How are Afternoon, you, Bert? everybody. I'm good. After a little rock walk around. Stretch those legs. Yeah. Match is evenly poised. That's a fantastic match. Another 40 runs. Babalis Berlin. Four wickets for Kerry. And there's a nice shot. Just for a single. Every run counts at this stage for Bally Spallon. Set. Facing his first ball now. Oh, and oh, he's bowled. And he's bowled him. He's bowled him. Kerry in raptures, delighted with that. That's the seventh wicket Come down on. now. Kerry <coughs> bowled by Yakub Ali. He's been bowling well all day. That has just lifted Kerry's spirits. One knock, a couple of steps up the ladder. So Reuben Wilson comes to the crease. It's the end of the over. You sense Carrier kind of in control now, Bert. Boys in the 
players with very voice activated at the moment. So Land. That's a nice lovely lead hit by Stuart. To, uh, to, uh, May come back for a two. For Has two. to come back for two. two. Will he make it in time? Uh, yeah. yeah, he does make it. Well run by this pair. But more importantly, he keeps strike. Thirty seven runs required. Ten overs left. Three wickets left. For carry to get. It's gonna be a cracker. Well bowled by Tabish. Well, well fielded. His first over went for 11. And he's bowled so well since he's come back. No run there. So always is making his voice heard again. He is, yeah. <laughs> they were very quiet for long periods of the game. Yes. It's funny how one big wicket can change a whole game. That's beautifully struck again. Will it be stopped? It's yeah, just stop stopped with a boot. Yep. Always hate that. Use your hands. <laughs> yep. You but still. Easily off, step on the ball and fall and hurt yourself. Stuart going down to have a word with Ruben. So just get behind the ball. Two balls remaining. Lock them out. Give me strike. Have a ball this be bit of a short one. You can say that was close to being wide. One ball remaining this over. Look at it. Yep. Well hit by Ruben, but there's a mix-up. Will there be a run out here? No. Nope. It overthrew, but there's a backing up. Yeah, the throw was not accurate enough for the run out, but they have a single. 35 runs to chase down now. Nine overs to go. I think Jack will bowl his last one now. Need four, nearly four and over now at this stage. A couple of boundaries can do the moral to good. Think for Kerry, those don't let it get to the last over. Sir Coop comes in, throws his first ball, and Ruben hits it good enough for the single. A scramble for a single. Stewart on strike. He's seen the ball well now. He's been there for 14 balls. Hitting it nicely. And he swings. Swing and Oh, miss. God. Anything could have happened there. Yeah. He wanted going it. in the air. Yeah, he, want, a boundary. He, he wanted to pull that shot. Ended up as a dot ball.
This time he plays more sensibly and takes the single. Not going to push the two. Three balls remaining in Yakub's spell. Bowls a bit quicker that time, more orthodox. I think he changed the seam to into a seamer position. It's a dot ball. He's mixing it up here. He's trying to avoid these singles that Bally Spallon are quite easily getting. And there's a tie in the air. Drop into no man's land. Fielder was way back on the boundary. Easy single in the end. A low risk shot. Well played by Ruben. He did mention that he was one of the best batsmen around, so let's see. Oh, and there's an edge off the bat there. They were thinking about going for a run. I'll have to settle for a dot. 32 no off eight, exactly four, four required. Four runs and over. Exactly four and over. There's quietness and a bit of tension around the ground at the stage. Both on both sides there is tension. Absolutely. <coughs> no one knows which way this is going to go. It's been ebbing and flowing all day long. Yeah. Tabish will continue from the spa oh, road end. Oh, something fell down on top of Bert. I don't know what it was. A blossom. Snow, was it? <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, a the blossom. blossoms off these trees are just around our uh, media centre. Oh, that's well defended by Ruben. The quarter play, quarter final place into the national cup is the reward for a win today. And it could be any side the way the match is for us at the moment. Curry needs three wickets. Alice Brennan needs thirty-one oh, runs, and there's a. An appeal for LBW. Not out. Not out, but they'll run the leg by. It was Stuart was quick off the mark. Yeah. It's one of the four runs that they require now. Four balls remaining in this over. Say the standard of bowling has been quite excellent today from both sides. And Stuart he pushes that one out to the middle. Shot looking shot there. He likes his uh, cover drives, doesn't he, Bert? Yeah, he does love those. But that one went, it wasn't much uh, power behind that. No. But there was a fielder lurking. More like a push. Yeah, just a gentle push. Yeah. Carry have opened up a huge gap between the keeper and point. That's and that's got way into the place where I just mentioned. Yep. But there was a fielder lurking below, just for the single. Bally Spallon could easily take advantage of that gap there. There are quite a few gaps around, but it's to uh, get the right ball to put into the gaps. Mm. That's three now that they require, really. So, two balls left in this over. Stuart hits that. Easy single for him. Bread and butter. Twenty-eight required. It's 
seven overs after this last after this ball. And another appeal for LBW. Say so it was going down leg. That's the end of the over. Twenty eight required off forty two balls, with three wickets in hand. I think the sun, and there's just a few sun has blessed us with his presence at the moment. Finally, it's taken a while, it's taken Bert. taken a while. Had a lot of co cloud cover today. Mountains are still... Still covered with clouds, yes. Yeah. Some rain clouds, but, but they're very, very high, don't I think that's our way. Yeah, that's our yeah. way. So the opening bowler is one. Th sorry, our way. Yeah, our yeah. way is coming back on for your coop. See what he can do. Three overs left in his spell. And there, there's a misfield. So Ruben will will go back in. Quite easy in the end. Swing on a miss. Good length ball there by yeah. Awe. And again. And again. I think then he keeps the ball up and just on the line, just outside the off stump, he's asking the bats with question at each time. So you. Can add a, you can easily get an, an edge. And again, three in a row. And Ruben decides, yeah, that's the shot I want to play. Get yeah. Thank that front foot outside off. Get to the pitch of the ball. As Bert said, there's plenty of gaps around. That's much better, but... Oh, and it's and out. And they're caught and bowled. I think uh, they're going to have a, a chat about this. Bump ball. There were two noises there, weren't there? Yeah. Bert? I think they were. Yeah. It'll go down as a valuable dot ball for the Kerry side. One to come. Really good over. The four dot balls yeah. in a row. Really good over. Five dot balls. Swing just outside that off stump. Ruben doesn't need to do this. No. All he just needs to do is get behind the ball and actually... Uh, push. Push, yeah. Push out. Yeah. Either side of the wicket. Yeah, but a very good, good the over gaps. there by yeah. Awe. Same Third line, same length all the time. Really good bowling. Yeah. One seven five for seven. <coughs> Excuse me. Third of four overs. Third of four overs gone. Run rate just crept up a little bit. Four point five now, and over required. But that won't matter really. If you get to the last one, with only needing five or six. It's a big over coming up here. And Ru. And that is a beautiful shot. There could be two on here. Mm -hmm. 
Stewart has decided to take charge here. It's a couple of runs. Moves to 14. Kerry now bringing a fielder over to close that gap. Only three on the leg side. That gap is now opened. He chooses to hit down there. He hits again and it's well, well fielded. That's brilliant by Tabish. And that's well hit. Is that going to be? No. Will oh, this go this, all the way for a boundary? Yeah, this, this. It's gone all the way for a boundary. A huge shot. Really important score. Just over the head of the, the uh, fielder. At point there, otherwise. They needed that there, didn't they? They needed that yeah, boundary. One or two boundaries. That's all it takes here for Bally Spallin. Takes the pressure off them again. One rate just drops. 3.82 now and over. Wiki Keeper has come down to have a chat with the bowler. I would suggest bowl a bit fuller. That's what it does. <laughs> And uh, that's great batting by Stewart. Six, seven off this over now. Two balls remaining. Well blocked out by Ruben. Yep. This game is swinging with every ball, Bert. Two or three overs ago, you thought Kerry might stroll to this for victory. But now, again... But now it's uh, swinging, the, the, yeah. the pendulum is Only 20, 20 runs required here now. I think Stuart was happy there not to run for that one. Yeah. Keep strike. It's Great over there for Bally Spallin. 20 balls to go. 30 balls. 20 Th runs off 30, 30 balls. balls. Again, we're back to up to four and over. Still could go either way. Oh, God, yeah. One or two more wickets and... Uh, A couple of boundaries yeah. for Bally Spallin and... That's when I'm in the, g in the game of cricket. It's never over until the winning run is hit. Hey. <laughs> or the, win the winning wicket is taken. I'll put that, that in my book. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Or to the bowlers. Bowl top of off. <laughs> nice shot there by Stewart. Brings Ruben on strike. 19 now required. 183 for 7. It's been a fantastic game. Oh, and well bowled. Will they get the leg by? They do. Good running yeah, by Stewart. Yeah. I don't think that was given as a by or as a leg by, was it? I didn't see I didn't a signal. See a signal. Goes on. I will give him the it. run anyway. It's well struck again well by Stewart. Cover down there. Three off this over so far. Now he needs to do something different. He's bowling the same line in length now. Maybe a shorter ball in. Oh, and 
swing wow. and a miss. And a wide, crucially, it's a wide. Oh. 16 required. Burst looking for the time. It's 18, four minutes past six. And if that's hit over, this is going to be caught. And it's caught. And Ruben is out. Who caught that bird? Was that Looks like... like uh, what's his name? Uh, oh. What's his name? Uh, Oh God, his name's gone. We we lost the scores. Caught by Mosin. Brings Finn into. Finn defends the first ball. One ball remaining in this over. Every ball swings. Oh! He hangs that bat out. It's a dot ball. Required run weight is still four. 186 for eight. We spoke to Chris earlier. He's all padded up. Will he will he be required to go into bat? To miss to continue. He pulls that one. Is this going to be a catch? Oh, it's gone all six. the way for a six. One for six. A crucial maximum. Hit by Stewart. 192 for eight. Of 36.1 overs. Ten runs required now. This has been some game, Bert. It has been. He tried to bowl short him. Stewart just pulled it in the air. This time it's gone. Will it be going for a boundary? It's another boundary. That was a full toss. Not a great ball. Bally Spallon players stand up and are roaring. One hit away. One hit away. It's down six off 22 balls. Stewart has moved to 31. Much better ball, but it's Stewart is equal to it. He will come back, and he's going to get two for his troubles. Well run there. Four runs to get. Twelve off the last three balls. It's changed the game completely. Oh, and there's a swing. Run. Was, is, was that a wide? Mm-hmm. And it's leg a leg. Deemed a leg by. Leg by. 
They clip the pads on the way down. Crucially now, two balls. Finn has to face two balls. Stuart will come down and have a word. He'll say, he's going to say, defend this at all costs. They're bringing a slip in. The captain's gone in. To about a second slip. And it's well defended well by defended. Finn. <laughs> Bally Spall and Faithful breathe a sl sigh of relief. Three runs needed. They need to keep Stuart. Get Stuart on strike. All he needs to do is see off this ball here. And he does. It was a good, very good ball to finish off Tabish's over. 199 for 8. Three overs remaining. Three runs to get. Three runs to get. Two wickets to fall. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's Coram coming on, is it? Yeah, there's Coram. So the captain has decided to bring captain himself on. Himself on. Yeah. Can try and take charge of this game now. Another close game. What's he going to do here? He bowls it oh short wide, and it's gone out it wide. Oh, wide. <laughs> crucial wide. Not required now at this no, time no. in the game. Only two runs remaining. And another one. one Sides are level. Scores are level. Another one like that and we'll make him man of the match. Yeah. Who, <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>, Coram? <laughs> <coughs> he must be up there though. And there it and is. There it goes, the and run. there it is, a big, huge roar. Yep. It's gone for the winning boundary. Run. There is a roar, and this Bally Spallin guys come out. Congratulations. What, what, what a match. Beautiful match. One of the best, one of the better matches, possibly the best match I've seen here in, <coughs> at the Oval. It, it's an uh, incredible match, I must say. It's been swinging yeah. to and fro. Yeah. All morning, all yeah. day. Yeah. And congratulations to Ballis Berlin. Yeah, and good luck in the next good round. Commiserations to County Kerry. It was a fantastic game. Uh, got to say that the meat for me, was man of the match. I don't know about you, Bert. Definitely. Yeah. He is his man his of the match. He's 97. 97. And three wickets. And his fielding was his incredible. His fielding was impress yeah. impressive. Yeah. So, therefore, he's definitely my man of the match. So, congratulations to Bally Spallin. Um, commiserations to Kerry. A fantastic effort. Uh, it, it, it was a game that swung both ways, wasn't it? It's been swung both ways all day. Yeah. Some great bowling at times. You had your drop catches. You had everything in it today. Everything, yeah. Yeah. Um, Awe played a crucial role. 64 runs for Kerry. Uh, with the ball then... Uh, yes. Stuart Kennedy, three, three for uh, th 23 off eight overs. And then for the second innings, uh, Andy Christie, an important 33 runs. Stuart Kennedy, obviously at the end, a fantastic Plus. way. Yeah, When they needed him the most, he was there, 37 Seven. uh, off 31 balls. And, of course, man the match, Demis Pereira, 97 runs off 59 balls, seven fours and seven sixes. A huge effort there. And uh, for Kerry with the ball, uh, you had, it was shared among, among them all, Awe with two for 25, Joss Wooden two for 29, Tabish two for 46. And... Yeah, man, one for twenty six for for Yakub Ali. Uh, I, I I ran out of words now. Yeah, that was an amazing match. It is. It was definitely. It was my honour to actually be here to watch it and uh, commentate on it, and I hope everybody on YouTube uh, 
who were watching today enjoyed it. And, uh, well, next week I'm back here again for the MCU Division, uh, the Premier T20 kicks off. Three matches. Uh, Cork Harlequins, County Kerry and UCC will be here. Yep. So that'll be next Sunday. Yeah, will be here. Uh, Bally Spallin, move on to the next round of the See. Irish National Cup. Let's have a look at any who else may be there. Uh, let's have a look here. St. John's? Uh, no, not St. John's. There's a North County only need three runs against St. John's, and so North County should, or yeah. four runs, they should be going. They should be in the next round. Derryahi, I would suggest, would be in the next round. Glen Dermot need 183 runs off, 15 overs. And Railway Union, definitely. Railway Union should be there, definitely. Sir Banner, 73 for nine, nine. Uh, chasing 183. Rush have just beaten Middleton by 83 runs, so that's another Munster team knocked out. We have no, we know that one Munster team will go through between County Galway and UCC, but we have no result there. In the Senior Cup... Uh, it's just scroll up there. Apologies. Uh, CIYMS look to be there. Their new buildings are 105, six chasing 326. Really tight match there in YMCA. Pembroke are 95 for four chasing 189 off. Phoenix looks at 30. Yeah, Mm -hmm. North Down are 100 for seven chasing 133 for Phoenix. So they look to go through in the Irish Senior Cup. Uh, Marion are putting a bit of a fight back on against Clontarf. They're 103 for five with 24 overs remaining and uh, chasing 226. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) So, look, I think um, we leave it there, Bert. Yeah, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. And look forward to seeing you again next week. Yeah. And And, uh, to the Bally Spalling guys, congratulations. Safe home tonight. Uh, you've a long old journey, but the wind will be uh, blowing in your face. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, good night. Good night to to everybody listening wherever you're listening around the world. Yeah. Please join us again. Take care for another broadcast. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>